Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm going live again. I'm back at it. Whoop, here I am. <laughs> hey, Diana. Hey, Tuesday. Hey, Bootsy. Bootsy. Hey, Bridget. Hey, Catherine. Hey, Shay, Shay Unique. Hey, Latricia. Hey, Angela. Hey, Miss Hemmings. Ayana, Alicia, Charmaine in the house, Charmaine Nicole, that's my name too. It was spelled N-I-C-H-O-L-E, but my mama changed it to N-I-C-O-L-E. So hey, Charmaine Nicole, I'm Charmaine Nicole too. Let's put this gum out. Hey, hey, hey. Hey Sharon, hey there, um Beverly, hey crazy Cindy, hey Yolanda. I'm looking for my regulars at what Dim said. We're um <laughs> I'm gonna need my moderators. We're gonna let this we're gonna wait for the while so people can come in. Well, I'm kinda late. I'm kinda late, I'm kinda late. She has a nice background. But I don't. Y'all just got to see my my stuff. I just have to see all my... Sorry, I don't have a nice background y'all can look at. I got to just see my all of my little machines. Good evening, good evening. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Audrey. Hey, Yolanda. Hey, Yvonne. You did Tuesday? Oh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate your support. She said she placed an order of a ray of a ray. I can't think of the dang on them. A ray of sunshine boutique. Check out my, my boutique, a ray of sunshine 2020. On um Etsy, my new children boutique. I'm loving making new children clothes. I'm loving it. I'm having so much fun. Hey Mary. Hey Tangela. Hey Fabulous. You in the house. Okay, you already made your little, you already I was looking for my girl. Like what fabulous is in, in um dim set? Go ahead and make y'all y'all moderators. Hey Alicia, hey Ashley, hey Latanya, hey um, thank you. She said she liked my shirt. Ow! I'm trying to make stuff. I'm trying to get my little merch together so I can be able to wear my videos. <laughs> no, I didn't make the rumper yet. I end up giving the um I end up just doing a shirt for her. I got the pattern and everything together. So I got the um so I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. I got the pattern all cut out, but I was just I just couldn't do it. I mean I didn't want to brush it, so I just gave her a shirt. I mean I just did a did a shirt for her. Hey Deborah. Okay, let's see who's all on here. Let's see, let's see. I don't know how to I'm on my computer today, y'all. Oh, I got 97 people on here. Only got 13 likes. Can we get some more likes? Can we get some more likes? Come so I can show y'all how I did these. Y'all want to see how I did these socks? I did these pink and black ones, y'all. I did these right here. Purple. This is the, the Lakers, honey. The Lakers. And I got a tutu to match this too. I got a tutu to match this one too. Oh, I should do the, the pink and purple then. Um then I made some more. I made these are little, these are infant ones. These are smaller, but the smaller ribbon. I'm gonna show y'all this in a minute, okay? Y'all, guess what? I had a whole video doing this right here. And I was my phone said I have no storage on it. So I was gonna upload it. I was trying to upload it last night. I was uploading it. And so I went into my storage and I accidentally deleted the whole video. It was, I did these on the video, okay? For y'all. I was gonna upgrade it. I mean, I was gonna um download it yesterday on YouTube. Deleted the whole video. So, so let me go ahead and just do a live. Let me just go ahead and do a live and get it over. It's not that long. It don't take that long to do it. So I said, let me go ahead and do a live for y'all. Thank you, Fabulous. Fabulosis. Yes, a rare sunshine boutique. And um, I also have a charming gal boutique on Etsy. Thank you, girl. Thank you. You always got my back, girl. Um 
So yeah, I did a whole video, y'all, and I deleted it. I'm like, oh my god. So I'm like, I'm glad it wasn't a really big video that I had to really work hard for. <laughs> That's my first time ever deleting the whole video. Like I've been doing this for like two years now. I deleted the whole. Like the devil is a lie. He's a lie. He's going to come over here this, on this live and do it. Like, well, I'm not doing the whole video again. I'm going to do it live. Ain't going to be no edits. Going to see the whole step by step so y'all can ask me questions while I'm doing it. So yeah, the whole video I deleted it, trying to save some room on my computer on my phone. I've been having problems with my phone, my computer. Somebody hacked my computer. I've been going through it. I sat in the house all day on Mother's Day because I've just been going through it, y'all. Somebody hacked my computer to get pick up money out of my, my accounts and stuff. It's been a mess over here in these streets. So I've just been hanging in there. Got my money back from the bank, but still, like, it's crazy out here. It's crazy out here. So y'all be careful. Y'all be careful. And my hacker might be on the, on, the, on the tube looking at me right now. It's scary out here. Thank you, Fabulosis. Hey, Cheryl Parker. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, Jacqueline. Thank you. Where do you get the dress socks? What you mean? These are, these are, today we're going to be making some more thumbs up. I got a hundred people watching. hundred people watching. Can you go ahead and go hit the likes button on the top of the page? Like this video so we can get started. I'm going to show you how I made these. I'm going to show you how to make these, okay? Easy, easy, easy. If you're not, a, so, if you're not really good at sewing, this is so easy i'm telling you i'm not i just learned how to sew and i think this is the oh my god it's so and it's so cute and so so fin i think it's so cute for little girls you can wear it for like um pictures you can wear it for birthdays match with a tutu or you can just wear it with a skirt these are so cute and fashionable for little girls I mean, have your, your, your own your little sports team or whatever cute 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 make a shirt for them and let the shirt match it um oh my oh this is um what is this called y'all this is called, um, hold on, I'm about to show you. This stuff right here is Holographic Sparkle Arnold Mosaic from, um, from, um, from Cricut. Mosaic. Can you see that? Oh, my light is in the way. There you go. This is what I got on, y'all. Arnold Mosaic from Cricut. You just iron on. And like it's like bling bling, like I'm bling blinging. You only see only like one of them came off or whatever. I think I did that when I was making it, but other than that, it looks good. Like a bling when it's soft, it's smooth. It's like vinyl, but it's mosaic. It's holo holographic sparkle arnold mosaic. From cricket. Got it? Yes, they are too cute. So I'm on my laptop today, so I don't want to get no disturbance from my um, phone. So um, I said, let me try my laptop. But I think it'd be a good, okay, it's okay to, the way I can do this, I can push the um, phone down. And can see, as long as y'all can see my my um, my um, sewing machine, everything should be good. So I think we'd be good. I got my chair over here, I'm prop the computer over here. So I got everything set up, y'all. got everything ready. I'm ready today. The only thing I got to get is one more thing. I forgot one thing. So let me go get that real quick while y'all go ahead and lock this video. I got 59 likes. I got 121 people watching. Come on now. I'm waiting. I'll wait. Let me go ahead and take this off my phone. Let me get this other ribbon. I'm going to show y'all real quick. Seventy nine likes, seventy nine likes. Not thumbs up on here, thumbs up on the, on the screen, top of the screen, thumbs up on the top of the screen. Like the video, please. And if you're not, who's all, where are my newbies at? Where are my virgins at? If you're new to this channel, say, I'm a virgin, say, virgin. Hey, Miss Parker. Hey, 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 Shayna. Thank you for moderator. Thank you, fabulous. Thank you, Shayna. I didn't get enough. Really? I don't know why YouTube's slipping. She said she didn't get a notification. I don't know why you didn't get no notification. But I'm glad you're here, girlfriend. We're making the tutu socks today. I'm not doing the ones. These are the detachable ones. I'm not sewing it into the sock. 
I do have the socks. You just put them on the sock or whatever. You buy your socks from Walmart or whatever. And you just put it on the sock. I'm going to show you how it look on a mannequin. But look at that, y'all. Just put them there so the kids can basically um wear them um, like this. You can fold it the way you want it folded. Put on their little ankles. And then they can take it off and wash the sock. You got to worry about messing these up and washing them. So it's so much better to have them detached from the sock so you can wash the sock when they get dirty and put it back on the sock when they want to wear it again. Bye now. How you like me now? But I got a mannequin. I'm going to show you how to look on a mannequin at the end of the video, okay? So like I was telling y'all, the ones that's already been here, I made these socks on a video and I deleted the video. So I was like, oh my God. So I gotta, I'm going to go ahead and do it on the live today. So I don't have to worry about making the video over again and trying to upload it because my, my phone been acting up. I've been hacked. I've been all kind of crazy stuff going on. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a live right now on this video. I'm a newbie. Uh, thank you. But welcome, Miss Um Cars Cars Carswell. Welcome, welcome to my channel. Hope you go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can be notified whenever we do new videos. Hey Cheryl Parker, you're a virgin. Thank you for coming. Hey Shirley, you're a virgin. Thank you for coming. Thanks for watching. Welcome, welcome. Hey. Okay, yes, like this, like this video so we can get started. We got 83 likes, so we got 129 people watching. Yes, I will be um, accepting new people in my group. I'm just waiting. I got so many people in line, so just be patient with me for um, um, for um, Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. Be patient. I'm trying to get you in there, but um, as long as you answer all the questions, you'll be good. Okay, let's go. Hey, hey. Miss Play, um, was it Mom's Playhouse? She's a virgin. Welcome, virgins. Welcome, all the virgins in here. Hey, virgins. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to this channel because we got so much going on. We got giveaways. I just did a giveaway last video, so I, I shipped all y'all stuff to y'all. So I hope y'all got y'all stuff that I shipped to whoever sent me that address for the stuff that y'all won last giveaway. So y'all should be getting it soon. Where the like button is? The like button is where you have to. I guess you got to close out this chat real quick and just go to the top of the page and like this um video but you can come right back in close out like it and come back in and go ahead and subscribe to the channel too honey honey hey miss charlotte she a virgin welcome virgins welcome all the virgins to charming gals we the charming gals that's somebody else here i have a charming gal boutique and i have a, a, a children boutique called ray of sunshine 2020 for our little kitty the kiddos Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let me okay, let me show y'all. First of all, these are the infant ones, right? So you see how the infant ones look smaller than the toddler ones. You could use smaller. You could use smaller ribbon for the um for the infant ones. You got a little baby, a newborn to um whatever whatever you want, like to, probably about to about six to seven months, twelve months or whatever. You can use these or all the way to toddler. It's up to you how much, how big a, a ribbon you want. With this, I would use this size ribbon, okay? You can use anything. Look at these little ribbons. I got this from um, Walmart. Look at this. This is cute for little cheerleaders, a little cheer, um, the cheerleader team, dance team. That's cute. So that'd be really cute on some socks, wouldn't it? That's real cute. But you might roll, you can't, probably won't be able to see that much because it'd be scrunched up like this. But that still would be cute for like a little cheerleader team. Hey, Catherine. Hey. And um, if I don't read, see y'all comments, just go ahead and ask again because I'm trying to talk to y'all and not read the comments right now because I want to get started. So um, if y'all if I miss y'all comments, just ask again, okay? When I'm looking at when I'm reading the comments, okay? Right now I'm about to go ahead and get this video started. Okay, so this is the small ribbon, which is the seven point um seven by eight inches. You could use that for the littler kids. And then when you want to go bigger, you could use the um this is the size ribbon right here, which is a one and a half inch. Okay, so this is what this is one and a half inch ribbon. Okay, and I made these. Like I said, I had a whole video ready for y'all, and I deleted it on accident. So we're gonna have to do it live. How about that? On these little, these are so cute. And I use um satin ribbon because the satin ribbon make it look much better. It make it look shiny and fun. it look, just look nice. It look it look real nice. You can use these, like somebody said, you can use these for pom poms in your hair too. If you want the small ones, these would be cute pom poms to match little outfits. If you're doing dancing or whatever, they, they could be the um, ankle um, wristlets and stuff. You could use wristlets, pom poms in your hair, or you use it for your socks, the kids' socks. Okay. Uh, that design on your shirt is not it's on your website. I can make it. This is not on my website, but I can make this for you. I can make it. Um, this sweater, this sweatshirt is gone. I, I sold out of these sweatshirts, so you can either get this on a t-shirt, a black t-shirt, 
or a gray t whatever color t-shirt you can get on. I can put it on a t-shirt for you because it's about to be summertime. But if you wanted a sweatshirt, I could do a sweatshirt too. But just get, inbox me um on Etsy and let me know what you're looking for. Go to um Charming Gal Boutique too on Etsy and just let me know you're looking for this Black Lives Matters and let me know if you want it on t-shirt or you want it on a sweatshirt and I can make it for you. But you can and I can inbox you back and let you know, ask you what you want it on, what color you want or whatever, however you want it. Okay. Yes, I can do this. It's so nice. It's, it's like very smooth. I didn't wash this a couple times now. I love it. So go ahead and just inbox me on Etsy on my Charming Gal Boutique number two um, site. Okay. So I'm just showing y'all different ribbons you can use. I mean, so you can use any kind of ribbon. You can either, you, you can also use the um, the um, glitter ribbon and you can do half, half. Like basically if this is a glitter ribbon or you can use this ribbon and you can just basically sew this ribbon on this pink ribbon right here. So it'd be half on this, on the top it'd be blue and on the bottom it'd be pink, right? So cause this is like a seven inch. I can't explain. You know what I'm saying? If I open this and put it, if I sew this right here, this blue ribbon on the top of this, the other half would be pink. So you can have pink and blue ribbon on your sock. So you can do it that way too. You can use glitter ribbon. You can do whatever you want to make these socks. Okay. So I'm just trying to give y'all different examples. So to hold the um the, the um the ribbon and your only thing you need is ribbon of your size. And you need the um elastic. This is a half an inch, or you can use this. Okay, this size is like a 7.8. I've been using 7.8 all this time, but this is so hard to, um, it's a seven, seven, seven by eight, seven. It's so hard to use this in your, um, in your, your machine. It's hard to catch it. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to use a half an inch today. This is cause I'm going to use this. I just don't like using this small because it's so hard to, um, it's so hard to catch in the, um, sewing machine. So, and I'm, I'm not using no needles y'all. I'm using a straight sewing machine. So I'm gonna try to see how these look with this, with a half an inch. Um, plastic today, okay, so I can show y'all how it looks, so we can see the difference between the half an inch and then the, um, the smaller ribbon, the smaller um, smaller size elastic, which this is right here. I use that small elastic; it stretched real good. It's, it's small, but I can still go ahead and do the half. I'm gonna do the half inch today, but it's your choice how you ever want to do it. Half inch or the one below half inch um, elastic, okay? And then you're gonna need your tulu. Now, everybody else on YouTube is using the the. the let me show you. Sorry, y'all. I thought I was together, huh? Everybody else is using this size Tulu for um these socks, right? But when you do use this Tulu, which is what is, what is this? I got this from Hobby Lobby, and it is um 40, it is Tulu 100 percent polyester, 25 yards, and it's six inches um wide. Okay. So everybody be using this, right? But what you do when you use this, you have to basically fold it in half like this. And then you put the ribbon on there and the elastic, but you still have a lot left over. And you might not want to show this. You don't want to show this. I mean, if you want to, that's fine. But if you don't want to show this, then you got to cut the um, you got to cut a lot of this tulu off, which is an was the extra step. Okay, so you ain't got to do all that because I found some smaller, some shorter tulu. I found this tulu at Hobby Lobby. They have this tulu, which is only three inches wide and it's twenty five yards. Okay, I use this. You can use whatever color you want. They have all colors. Okay. And it's so much simpler to use the small one instead of use the big one because you don't got to waste too little and you got to cut no extra too little off. I'm just showing you the different um the different um sizes they have, I mean different colors they have. But I only use white because I'm using white socks. So if you're using black, you can use pink, black. If you're using pink, you can use if you're using pink socks, use pink, use Tulu. If you're using white, I'm just gonna use white Tulu. But I just bought these because y'all, I didn't know anything about these socks until I looked on um. I'm gonna show y'all this down here so you can see. I didn't know about these socks until I look on Andrina Creation. Andrina Creation page. Go ahead and follow her. She, she's a really good teacher. She shows you how to do the things step by step. And, and it's, it's amazing how she teach y'all. So check her out. Um, um, Adrena, Adrena Creations. And she used this size Tulu. But the only reason why I bought this size Tulu, because I was going to make this bow. I saw this bow, this headband at Hobby Lobby, right? So I said, wait a minute. I'm going to go I'm gonna go get some Tulu and make this bow, right? See how little this, this, this bow is real short. So when I was going to look for some Tulu to make this bow, I saw this. I was like, this is the exact size of this bow, okay? That's the reason why I bought this Tulu. I wasn't thinking about no socks then. You know, I didn't think about, I ain't heard about those socks. But then I had this in my stash, and when Andrina was using this, I was like, wait, I got some short Tulu I can use, which would be much better than I'm going to about cutting this. So when I fold this one time, excuse my tape, I'm trying to have tape on there so it can stay on there. You only got to fold it one time, halfway, and all you need. You don't got to worry about cutting it afterwards. This is just a not enough size to put on your ribbon and your elastic, y'all. Look at that. Perfect size for some socks, okay? And some hair bows if you're gonna make hair bows. Fold it in half, just, fold it in half just like this. 
and I'll show you how to do the rest in a minute, okay? That's all you gotta do is fold it in half. You need two glue, elastic, and ribbon. That's it. That's all. And a hot gun glue so you can um put heat it together on the sides and so a, a sewing machine, of course. Okay. So um so them design, we love the small tulu. Yes, I I, do, I was looking for it for this just to make these hair bows, girl. So I'm gonna make some more. I'm gonna make some of these. I seen I, I bought this from um Hobby Lobby. Well, I can make that. So all it is is some tulu, a small ribbon, and then these little things you get. This get this from Hobby Lobby too, and the ribbon and the tulu. Make you some ribbon, hair some hair bows, and some socks to go with it. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say a tulu tool. Y'all know what I mean, tool. <laughs> Tool, sorry. I've been saying tool forever too. This is tool. My 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 bad. It's tool. Um, tool. Two tools. Tool. Two two. Um. Thank you. Thank you. Um. So thanks for correcting me because I'd be walking around here saying tool. Um. <laughs> that's how it's spelled. T is it? That's T U L L E. I, I made my own name. Tool. My my bad. Um. And yeah, she's on um Adrena Creation is on Facebook and YouTube. But I look at her YouTube channel and she made these socks. She made I, I learned from how to make the um tutus from her and I learned how to make these tulu socks from tool socks. I gotta get that in my head. Tool socks from her, okay? So let's go ahead and get started, y'all. You know how I like to ramble, 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 and I don't get stuff done. But I've been um so um so let me go ahead and tell you the measurements real quick. If you want to get a pen and paper to write this down, and I can probably try to put it inside my um little um Description bar box later on, but um, let me go ahead and tell y'all the measurements of what y'all gonna be needing, okay? Okay, so for instance, okay, if you have an infant, you're gonna be needing four yards of tool and four yards of ribbon, okay? This ribbon I'm gonna be using is um, no, I'm not using the red, I'm using this ribbon today. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do pink and blue. I hope I got another pink. Oh, this is pink. I'm tripping. I'm gonna be using pink and blue. This one right here comes from Hobby Lobby, and it is um four yards. Okay, four yards of this, four yards of this. So that means I have eight yards. So that's not a. Yeah, I got. I got enough. Um. Oh, I don't have enough. I'm gonna do the infant size because I don't have enough. Um, this is four yards. And this is four yards, and this is on these. This is seven yards, and this is seven yards. Okay, so um, for instance, for infants, you need four yards of tool and four yards of ribbon. Okay, and for and you need um one. Okay, I break everything down, y'all. What I say? You need four yards of ribbon and four yards of tool, and you need five inch elastic for the ankle. Okay, you got that for infants. It's four yards of tool and four yards of ribbon, and then five inches of elastic. For the toddlers, you're gonna need five yards of tool, five yards of ribbon. Okay, and six inches elastic. I don't know if somebody wanna write this down up in there or whatever. I don't know. Repeat it again. Infants, five yards of tool, five yards of ribbon. I'm sorry. Infants, four yards of ribbon, four yards of tool, and five inches of elastic. Toddlers, five yards of tool, five yards of ribbon, and six inches of elastic. For kids, um, any size kids or whatever, like small kids, um, it's going to be six yards of tool, six yards of, of, of ribbon, and seven inches of elastic. And um, for teens and up, seven yards of tool, seven yards of ribbon. And eight inches elastics. Got it? You could use a um a half an inch. You could use a one half an inch for um the bigger kids, and then you could use a point a seven eighths inch for the um infants. Got it? And you can use, I mean if you want to use that's just something we found that's the measurements I got off of YouTube. If you want to make more ribbon than this, this is what I use on this. I use the um it's a toddler and I use five yards of tool, five yards of ribbon on this. But if you want to make it some less ribbon, you can use less ribbon, less less yards of um tulu. Okay, tool. Okay, I've been calling it tulu forever. Um, and it's a six inches elastic. Okay, but see, whether you want a less fluffier or more fluffier, do more. It's yours. This is how you want to do it. Okay, however you want to do it. Like I said, I only use white tool because I'm using white socks. I got my socks from Walmart. Y'all got it? Oh, cool. I never been to the bridal shops. Oh, you said the bridal section? Where? Hobby Lobby? She said it's cheaper. 
you get it somewhere else, I don't know. But I be making, I just spend a lot of money. Like I said, this is not enough tool. Like this is five yards right here. Oh, this is only, this is five, this is four yards right here. And I really need five yards for the toddler. So what I'm thinking about doing today, this is all happening. Well, no, I, I can use it because I'm doing half, half. Okay, I'm doing half colors. I'm not using the whole five yards on one color. I'm gonna split it in half. So let me show y'all, let me tell y'all how to do that. Thank you, thank you, uh, uh, stay unique. Okay, let me show y'all, let me tell y'all a little math facts, okay? Basically, if you're, okay, you know 36 inches in a yard, right? And we need, um, we need four yards for the infant, right? So you have 36 times four is 144. You divide it by three if you're using three colors. Divide it by three if you're using three colors of yarn. So that means you're gonna need 48 inches of ribbon, not yarn, but ribbon each, okay? So if you're doing three colors, you're gonna need um you're not gonna use off, you're gonna not gonna use five yards. You're gonna use 40 inch, 48 inches of each color to make five yards. If y'all understand that, you're using three colors, okay? And I did three colors on this. This is what I did with this one. This one I use um three colors. So this is 30, this is 48 inches each ribbon. It's 48 inches long. I cut it 48 inches long, okay? For to do do because it's three colors. But since I'm doing two colors. It's 36 inches in a yard. Then I need, since I'm doing a toddler, we need five yards. So you're going to basically do 36 times five, which is 180. You divide it by two because you got two colors. So now it's 90 inches each. So this is 90 inch, inch purple, 90 inches of um, gold. Okay. I got that. Let me know if y'all want to say it over again. Cause we ready to start. It's just the measuring part, getting the measuring part together, and we can, we can go ahead and get started. I got that. Hey, Jacqueline from Canada. Gotcha. Okay, y'all got me. So that means we're going to keep on going. We're going to go ahead and start getting this uh, Tulu. Tua. I mean, my own name for it, y'all. Say it over again because I know I talk fast. One more time from, um, from Maryland. There's 36 inches in a yard. You need five yards for a toddler um, for, for this side. You need five yards. So what we're going to do is if we're using two colors, what we're going to do today, we're going to use two colors. So if you have, this, you need five yards, but using two colors, you have to basically do 36 inches times five, five yards to, to get 180. There's 180 all together. So you divide 180 by two because you need two colors. So that means out of that 180 by, divided by two is going to equal 80. So that means you're going to need eight, 80 inches Per ribbon, the color, the 80 inches of purple, 80 inches of gold per sock to make it fluffy like this. Okay. If you have three, you got to divide that into three. It depends. It goes by the yard and, and how many colors you have. Okay. It goes by the yard and how many colors. So the infant is four yards of tool and ribbon and five inches of elastic. The toddler is five yards of tool and ribbon. With six inches of elastic. The kids are six yards of tool and ribbon with seven inches of elastic. And the teens is seven yards of tool and ribbon for eight inches of elastic. And when you move using more colors, you divide it, your yards by the colors you use. Got it, got it. I'm going on. Okay, yeah, we're gonna be doing this is right here is 90 inches each of ribbon. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all now how to how to measure it out, okay. And if y'all get it, if y'all want to read, this is stay up. This will be live to stay up so you can go ahead and watch this again and write all that stuff down. But I said, you can write it down again by watching this video over. Somebody can put it in the, in the um, thing. Okay. So first up thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get my tool. I told you I got this tool from Hobby Lobby. Most people, everybody on YouTube use this. It's bigger. You This is a waste of money. You waste because you'll be wasting it because you got to cut it. You don't want all this tool on your sock. This is a perfect size, which is three inches. This is six inches. This is th uh, three inches. The same, it's still, I think it's 22 yards or whatever. It's enough, it's enough for you to have it, okay? I got this in a little bit in the fabric department at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, the only one that carries that I've seen so far. And it's, look, it stretches too. It's nice, it's nice, okay? So what I do is I use my ruler, my mat. I mean, what is this? My cutting mat right here, you see these right here? So it's, it start from one, this is a yard right here, okay? This is a yard. So you can buy this. I got this from my, you can get this from Walmart. So it go from one, the 36 inches, okay? So that means this is a yard. So I know this is a yard. And like I said, I'm doing a toddler size because, no, I got enough, I got enough. Um, So with that being said, I'm going to be doing, I'm using two colors. So I need 90 inches each, okay? 
So I'm that's that means it's gonna be um 35. Then I gotta hit like I think it's 18. So he's gonna be about um right here and a half. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and um I'm doing 90 inches each, okay. That's two yards, isn't it? Oh, that's um, that's oh, that's, yeah, that's like that's like two, two yards. I'm tripping. So I'm doing 90 inches, okay. So I'm taking this and I'm measuring it. So that's. 40, 80, and then 90, right here. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it, if I can find my scissors. I'm just rounding it up. So my, um, my ruler goes, my, my mat goes all the way to um, 36. So I'm just, I'm just um, I, need my, I need to find another ruler. But I'm just, like I said, 90 inches. Okay, that's for one sock. And it's gonna be for another sock. So I take my mat and I'm just going six, a yard, two yards. It does two and a half yards a piece, duh, Charmaine. Because <laughs> when you, <laughs> I'm tripping. I'm like, I'm duh. It's five yards, right? So we'll be only, we got two colors, so we divide it. So it's gonna be two and a half, two and a half yards each. Okay, that's what I did, but I just didn't say it like that. Okay. Forgive me. Yep, two and a half yards each. Let me make sure it's even because I, I feel like I'm kind of slow right now. So, yep, that's what it is. Just two and a half yards each if you're doing two colors. Instead of doing five, you're going to be divided by um two. That's two and a half. So, okay, now it's, it's matching. It's even. Two and a half yards. That's what this is. Right, we see one sock, two and a half yards, and then the other sock, two and a half yards, okay? Let me just see something real quick. Okay. So now it's time for me to get my ribbon. So now I'm going to be using this pink and blue ribbon. So I'm going to need two sets of it because I'm going to have, a, two, I'm going to have um, a pair of socks, okay? Okay, so I'm just opening it up, y'all. Be patient. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do two and a half yards of this, okay? So it's said 90 inches, you say two and a half yards. One, two, and I'm just measuring it with my mat, okay? Two and a half. That's I got pink, one pink for one sock, okay? Another pink. I'm doing one, two. Y'all can use a regular ruler. Or y'all can use um dang. I could I could this wrong. Y'all can use a regular ruler or y'all can use um this mat that we did I have on here. And basically this is this is um I'm tripping y'all. Anytime I get on dang on live, I always mess up. I to the that's right, that's right. I just gotta use a different this only have four yards. <laughs> So I gotta use this one, okay? Because I ain't have enough on there. There's only four yards. I need five yards. So I'm gonna just use this one because that was only four yards. So I didn't have enough on that one. Okay, so I got it. So trying to find a spool of a thread. I mean a yarn that's I mean, I'm gonna say yarn of a, a ribbon. Try to find the one with more than four yards in there, okay? Let me make sure this match is one of them was shorter than the other one because I ran out. I'm just making sure it's two and a half yards, y'all. Okay, two and a half yards each. Now I'm about to go ahead and go to my blue. This blue is pretty, huh? Yes, yes, yes. 150 people. Uh, I'm gonna have 150 likes, and I got 200 people watching. Can you go ahead and log out? I mean, go ahead and go to the top, top of the screen and log and um like this video, please. 
I appreciate you. I love this satin ribbon. It's so pretty and elegant. I'm just measuring it from my mat, 36 inches. It's 36 inches long. The, my uh, mat is a yard. So just go ahead and measure with your mat, um, mat or I mean your um cutting mat. I got this from Walmart, cheaper than Joanne Fabrics. So whoever else, go to Walmart and get your mat. And these things are expensive, these cutting mats. If you don't have this, just get your ruler or just measure off a table and just measure it and you'll be able to do it from that do it that way. Okay. Measure your yards, two and a half yards or whatever you however you want, what you want to use. Okay. So now I have my um my two blues per sock. Okay. I got a pink one. I got a blue foot, a blue and a pink for per, per sock. Okay. Each sock. Tongue twisted. And I have my um two and a half um inch, two and a half yards of tool. Okay. That's all we need. Then we need our elastic. I'm going to go ahead and cut the elastic right now. Okay. I'm doing a um toddler two two sock. Okay. I'm using this half inch today. Usually I use the seven eighths inch, but that's so tiny. I'm gonna try to use the um one inch today, okay? Because I just can't stand using that, that this small elastic in my in my sewing machine because it's so hard to catch it, even though I catch it. But I just want to try to use this. Is my first time going to use it in the half inch. It's gonna be a five. It's just ankles. You only put them on ankles, y'all. So I'm using toddler. I got five yards, everything that I need. I'm using six inches of elastic, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this six inches. I'm using my cut mat still. I need two of them, one per sock. So I got one, measure the other one, and use it like this. Y'all got it? We are making two socks. Two, we're making two loose socks. These socks right here, these detachable ribbon, lace, tulu, tutu two, two socks, okay? I'm not gonna detach them to the socks. They're gonna be attached from this. They're gonna be detached from the socks. I'm not gonna attach them to the socks. I'm detaching them. They're basically you put them on the sock. This, here's a sock you get from Walmart. Any kind of sock you want to get, fold it the way you want to fold it. Put the, put it on the child's ankle, just like this. Okay, it'd be so cute. And then when you when she take them off, wash the sock and put these away to wear them next time. You gotta worry about them be, being um attached to the sock, and you can't wash them because they might mess up the ribbon. Take them off. And you can put them in your hair. Pom poms in your hair, on your wrist, on your wrist, and your ankle. Cute, 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 cute. I made this, I made these, and I made these. And I'm gonna show you how to make the pink and um, blue ones. These are for little top. This is for little, little smaller ribbon. And also, you can use this tool for this bait bow. Okay, these little bows is cute. So I'm gonna make some of these. All this stuff came from Hobby Lobby. Isn't this cute, y'all? Little hair bow with little tutus. I made tutus too to match these um these socks. I got it. She said, "How do you hit the like button? You you um, have to exit out of here and go to the top of the page and click like, like this video, and then come back." Yes, candy for the ankle, for the ankles. Okay. So now we have everything we need. We have our tool, our ribbon, and our elastic. That's all we need. And you need the matching thread. I have my matching thread right here. And yes, you're supposed to be able to, you're supposed to use the matching thread to match this ribbon and this ribbon. I don't. I can't stand changing my thread in my in my bobbin, in my in my stuff. So what I do, I just use all this, I use the lightest color. So when it does over, when it does thread over this pink ribbon, it's gonna like a lining. Like a like a, a ribbon. I mean, like a, a thread line. Like you see in your jeans, you have a lot of jeans you wear. You have white line in your jeans. They don't match it blue. It's not blue jeans, so it's gonna be okay. Let me show y'all this one. I'm gonna show you how it look. So this is I use um pink. I use pink um thread for this, right? You can't see it on there, but you can see it on the black, and it looks fine to me. That looks fine to me. If you don't like it, that's fine. Just go ahead and use black ribbon for this one. Use black instead of pink. They're on the ankles. Then nobody can't see that. They're on socks. So do how you want to do it. But me, I can't stand changing this dang on thread and this bobbin in this machine because it's just too much of a headache because I bought this machine thinking it was an automatic threaded. And it is, but it don't work for me. So I just like, look, I ain't on it, so I'm not doing it. So, yes, we're going to use all blue today. This thread we're going to be using for the pink and blue ribbon. And right now I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and get my bobbin together because I don't have any bobbin this color. So I'm going to go ahead and get this, wind this up to make it, to use it, to get my bobbin together too, to put this on a bobbin. I can show you how to do that too if y'all know how to do this on your sewing machine. Let me show you how to do this right now. Any questions before we get started, y'all? Any questions? I got this um sewing machine from, where I get this from? 
Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I got it from Hobby Lobby. We're only hundred dollars. But let me go ahead and give me a little cheap sewing machine because I already have another. I got a brother's machine. I got all brothers, y'all. I got a brother's sewing machine slash um embroidery machine. But I said I was gonna go ahead and just use that for my embroidery machine and just give me a little cheap sewing machine so I could just use this of sewing and have to worry about changing the foot, changing everything around from the embroidery to the sewing. Okay. So now I got four. I got four embroidery machines. Okay. I got me a sewing machine and I got me a serger over there. If you can see that serger right there. Right there on that little, got my brother's surgery over there too. So yes, I'm getting it in, y'all. I love sewing. I've been making clothes. I've been doing all kinds of stuff. Well, it's kids clothes, y'all. Kids clothes. I'm making kids clothes. But so this is my sewing machine, and it is the MS 2700. I wouldn't re recommend it because the thread, the um, the um, the, the um, the thread don't work. The thread, the automatic thread, it don't, it don't thread my machine like I want to. So I have to basically use this thing right here. I had to hand thread it. So, yeah. Little tool thing I had to use to thread it. Walmart. Okay. So, now I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. I don't know if y'all can, can't see that. Um, go ahead and put basically how you thread it. If, when you want bobbin on your um, machine, just put this up here on the top. And then you wind it in your machine. Like, supposed, like everybody, everybody's machine has numbers to go on it. So, you just follow the numbers. And I'm just going to go ahead and wind it so I can be able to use, so I can be able to um get some bob, put some of my bobbin also. Okay. And my bobbin is right here. And what I do, I just wind this around here like this so it can stay on here. Look, this is how I do it, y'all. People do it different. This is how I do it. This is how, it works for me, honey. Sometimes it don't work. Look, I just do it over. I'm new at sewing. This is how it works. Okay, it's for me. So now I just bring this over, push it over. And then I um push my foot down on my little presser on this thing. <laughs> and I don't have all the technology either, okay, y'all? told you I'm new at this. I'm about to say presser foot. Not a presser foot. It's the foot on the machine so you can go ahead and spin this around. Y'all can see that. See how the bobbin is winding? Oh, I did it right on the first try. Okay, then. So basically, you see the bobbin right here is winding from the regular thread is winding to the um, bobbin, the little small spool right here. To make it feel so I can put that in the bottom of my machine. I gotta hold, see this how it looks, it's, it's all wobbly, I gotta hold it so it won't fall off. I don't like, I don't like this machine. Let's see if I can get closer so I can see it. I'm using my laptop, y'all, so bear with me. I use my phone, my phone go out. So see how it's, it's getting thicker? So it's, the thread is coming from here to here, so you can match the bobbin to your thread, okay? Go a little faster, but I gotta hold it because it's gonna fall off if I don't. Oh, it just broke. How the heck that happened? Oh, you got stuck. So it's, that's enough for me to use. I'm going to just use that. I'm, I'm good. That's enough for me to use for today, okay? It broke. The thread broke. So it got stuck in here. I must have wound it the wrong way. So I'm just going to cut this with my little cutter thing right here. So that's enough for me to use for, for the socks, okay? I'm going to use one color, a thread, and one color, Um, well, for both colors, okay? But if y'all want to do it the correct way, to be professional, I mean, to be, it's professional. Just use the um, color of the ribbons you're going to be using, okay? Can y'all see everything okay? Can y'all see my um? Can y'all see this okay? Okay, let's see, Miss Parker, Charmaine, do you use your embroidery sewing machine to sew? Like I said, I was using it to sew and embroider, but since um um, Miss Parker, remember you told me about the you know the, the my my um something. What happened to that? My back stitch is not working. So I said if, instead of me just uh, taking it to the shop right now, spending money. I just use this one because I can just use that for embroidery because you don't need back stitching for embroidery, okay? So that one, my back stitches start work, working and my doggone um, needle threader start working too on that one. I just got that machine too. It's, only, it's not even a year. But the embroidery machine part is still working, so I just been using embroidery. I just been embroidering on that. Instead of wasting money to go take it to the shop, I just use it for embroidery, Miss Parker. But it's, that's a really good sewing machine, y'all. I love that sewing machine because it's like Miss Parker told me a lot of different fixtures. Um, they had an overlock fixture. fixture it's got an overlock fix feature on that machine i love it because it's, it's um all the, i mean it's digital so it's a really nice machine it's called the brothers se 625 i love it but like i said i was making so many masks on it that now it's really like my back stitch is not working and then my my needle threader my threader is not working either so i just been going and use this one it's a hundred dollars at um hobby lobby and this is what i'm doing y'all all my newies all my virgins i have a disclaimer to make yes i talk fast Especially when I'm excited. No, all the time. I hear myself talk fast. I try to slow down. So please forgive me. 
I'm a fast talker and I can't help it. Where's the dang on hold left the needle? Did I break the dang on needle? What the heck? I'm looking for the, this, I'm looking for the hole in this little dang on thing. <laughs> I'm tripping, y'all. Like, what happened? So I'm just basically threading needle now because my automatic thread ain't working on this one either. I'm just putting it through here. And we're going to get started. It don't, it's not hard to do, but it's kind of time consuming because it's a long, you you basically sewing five yards, of, uh, five yards of ribbon on this stuff. So it takes a while for me to sew through that. Depends if you sew fast, sew slow, or whatever. And so I'm talking to y'all. I'm going to talk kind of slow, a little slower because I can't do two things at once. Y'all know how I am. I talk to y'all and I mess up, so I'm be slow. I'm be um sewing it kind of slow so I can be able to talk to y'all while I'm doing it, or I can just answer y'all questions while I'm sewing it because it's an easy, it's a straight sew. Okay, okay. So now be careful with this tool because if you use tool, you know it it basically connects everything. So if you got anything on your floor, make sure your floor is clean, or make sure you just put this in a bowl or a bucket or something, or leave it in your lap so it won't hit the floor because it will. Anything you use on your floor will get on your tool. It's like a shorter than. Or whatever. I got two and a half. This is going to be enough. Whatever. I think I'm kind of short. I think I cut. So I got two and a half yards of tour and two and a half yards each. No. Yeah. Of the um ribbon. Okay. Got it. Got it. So what we need to do is all we need to do now is fold this tour in half. Okay. So we only got to do one sew. We only got to sew one time because when we fold this in half, I'm gonna use this side because I think I cut that side. It's not even. When you cut, when you um, when you fold this in half, it looks like this, right? So all we need is a channel for our elastic and a space for our tool, our ribbon. So with that being said, I have my um elastic somewhere around here. I have my elastic right here, so I'm gonna make sure that I have enough space, enough for my elastic and my tool. So I'm gonna turn it this way because my elastic can go right here, right? On the closed part, right? Right there, right? It's gonna fit, make sure it's enough space right here between here and here. And then you can put your ribbon right on the other side of it. I'm just showing you how it look right here in the, in the, in the camera. And I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna put it on the, on the, um, on the um, sewing machine. So here it is right here. You always put the ribbon on the bottom. Put them on the bottom first on the sewing machine. You put the tool on top. Okay. And there you have it. So you can have sit on the back of this is how the back gonna look, okay? This is the front, the pretty side gonna be in the back. This is gonna be the front of the sock. This is the pretty side of the sock, okay? This is the back of the sock. So on the back of the sock, you are going to be able to see this extra tool. But it's not coming, as long as you don't have the tool coming off of the ribbon, you're good. So that's why I'm saying this size ribbon is perfect for this because you don't have to worry about cutting it because it's not coming off the ribbon. Okay. I like to have my ribbon right um by right here, just enough room for this tool to be able to go through. I mean, this the last to go through here. So make sure you have enough space for this to go through. Okay. Make sure this fits. So then you make your sewing, your thread is going like right here. It's going right here. I don't like my thread going in the middle of my, my um ribbon. I like to go on the edge, like right here on the, on the top. So you'll see my thread, we're going to be right here on the top of the ribbon, all the way down, just like that. So basically, you're just going to be sewing all the way down right here. And when you get done sewing, this is going to be closing off this side right here. This open edge is going to be closed from the ribbon. And this is going to be where you're going to be sticking your elastic through. Okay? How simple is that? How simple is that? You got it? Anybody, anybody got questions about how I did this? How this is going? This is the open part right here. This is the open part. You fold it evenly and place the ribbon on the bottom of the machine first face down pretty side down and then you put the ribbon on you put the um the tool on top and make it just so you have enough room to be able to feed this through as long as you got enough room for that you fine so you can move this ribbon however far you want it as long as you got enough room to feed your elastic on you sew one time all the way down and that's all you need to do and at the end i'm gonna show you how to do everything else okay Cool. The size of the ribbon is a one and a half inch ribbon, or this is for toddlers and up. But if you want to use it for infant, you can use a 7.8 ribbon because it's smaller for little ankles, smaller ankles. This one right here is this the um the one I made with this size ribbon. Okay. I got two of them. I got some more over right here. And this is the one I made for the 0.78 inches for the um for the baby, for the infants. Smaller ribbon, smaller ankles, smaller bodies. But I made three colors on this. Okay. 
And I also explained to y'all how to do to find how much to use if you was using two colors, three colors. Basically, this video will stay up. So just go ahead and look at the video again so you can be able to divide the cut the um so you can know how much you need if you're using more than just one color. Because you need five yards if you're using toddlers. So you gotta divide that number up so you can be able to know how many colors you need, how many inches you need, or how many yards you need, or whatever. Okay. You have seven eighths ribbon for the infants. Thank you, Joanne. Okay, so now let me show y'all how to put it on how I do it on my um on my on my um machine. I got my blue um I got my blue thread in the machine. I got the, the blue bobbin and the blue thread. I'm not changing it. I always go with the light color because light color, I'm not gonna change my color. I don't want to have to go one yard of ribbon or whatever how many yards I'm using, and then gotta switch it. I ain't doing that. But for my tutus, I do do that because it's a tutu. But these are socks, they're going to your ankles. You ain't gonna be able to see. I mean, whatever. Do it how you want to do it. Got it. Okay. So let me show you how I do it. I don't need this elastic right now. I just use the elastic so I can measure it. Don't use the elastic right now. The elastic is the last part you do. I'm just using this to make sure I have enough room to be able to make sure it's going to feed through this little channel right here. This is the channel right here. The thread going right here. We're going all the way down, all the way down till we get to the next color and we do it. We're done. Okay. So here's my machine. Okay. And what I do is just remember that the place the ribbon face down. And your tulu, your tua is going on the right side, okay? So let me, I'm gonna turn it this way. This is my right, my tua, the close, the part of this could be closed, the closing part, the channel, this part right here is going to be doing turn this way to this side, or the right side of the machine, okay? The right side of the machine, because I want my needle to be on my ribbon, pretty side down, just the front of the sock. And that mean the the um the uh the uh tua is going on the back of the sock, just like this. This is how I'm sitting on my own machine, just like this. Give me some space, about this much space, doing about, about this much, and then this is how it's gonna look from the back of the sock. But you ain't gonna see this because this is gonna be on the sock. I'm gonna let I'm gonna face it downward though on my machine, just like this. Down. So this is going to the right. This close part is going to the right. Hope y'all got that. I'm trying to talk slow to, to explain it to y'all. So um, I make sure you fold it, but you don't got to fold it all the way through. You can fold it, take your time and fold it while you're going. Okay. Don't do the elastic is going to be used, but don't use it right now. You're just using that just to see how much space you had. Make sure you had enough space. I'm using 7.8. No, I'm using a half inch elastic for this just to see how it works. But I've been using 7.8 inch elastic for my other ones, but I can't stand using that 7.8 because it's so tiny and it's hard to get into my machine. Now, I don't use no needle, y'all. I don't use needle on three. I got to use my machine. So. I'm gonna go ahead and try to use this eight um a half inch, which I think is gonna be okay. It's gonna work this week. If you don't, we'll see on my on my video. Okay, so I'm gonna place it down here. Then when I put it on my machine, I place it and I usually try to see what kind of the point I'm gonna be using, point that I'm gonna be using. So I just make sure that I'm always gonna be at the inch. So on my on my on my machine, I have it says an inch right here. I have this little tool right here. I think I got this from um Hobby Lobby. It's a magnet. So I place this magnet right here on my thing where it say one inch at. So that I know that I'm going in a straight line and it won't move. You can use a rubber band. You put a rubber band right here on one inch. You can put a marker right here. You can do tape. You can do whatever you want. But this right here, I like this because it don't move. It's magnetic. I put it right here on my one inch and it won't move. And I know that my two loose should not go past this metal piece because then if it do, it's just going to be uneven. Okay, so that's how I do it. I hope y'all can see. It's hard to see because that light is on. But y'all know, I showed y'all how it looks face down, ribbon on bottom, uh, tool on top. And then my tool is right hand, the um, corner is coming out this way on the right hand side. Y'all got it. The, 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 I'm, do, I'm doing a toddler, so I'm using six inch elastic and five yards of um, tool and five yards of um, ribbon. But I am had to divide that because I'm using two colors, okay? Somebody just asked that question. So what I need to do is make sure I put my needle right where I want it so I know that my ribbon is not coming off my my ribbon my tool is not coming off my ribbon my needle is right here on the top tip top edge of this tool because that's how I like it you can put it in the center if you want to but I like it on the right in the right at the um tip top of the um the ribbon right at the top so then I put my needle down all the way down so I can see where it's gonna hit it at bam I like it like that okay I know you can't see because I like but I'm sorry I can't do anything better I can't do anything else I just got it that's how it looks I'm using a um straight stitch, okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go down, and I'm gonna basically back stitch first. So make sure while you while you sewing, oh, I'm sorry, while you sewing, make sure you just while you go, just keep on making sure you fold it, fold the um tool to make sure it's folded, and then make sure you're at the right, you, your 
your your your tool right here to sell my tool is stopping right in the middle of the ribbon it's stopping it's not going over the ribbon it's right in the middle of the ribbon okay right in the middle perfectly in the middle like that's the that's the best way to use this short ribbon this short tool because it's shorter and you don't have to worry about it you cut anything off okay I put my needle down and I'm gonna go ahead and go up a couple times I'm gonna go back back stitch and I'm, I'm just go ahead and go with it I got my my measurement is the um my is what's called a seam allowance my seam allowance even though I'm not having the seam is at one inch but this is enough enough to feed that um elastic in Like I say, I'm a beginner sewer, y'all. So it's I'm not new. I'm new to sewing. I started out sewing. I'm just gonna talk to y'all while I'm doing this, y'all. So just forget. <laughs> just listen. Look, <laughs> I'm letting y'all see. Can y'all see it? Is that as good as I can get it because the light is in a sewing machine. It's kind of bright. But I just started sewing during the pandemic. I started making um masks. That's how I learned how to sew. If y'all knew and learned how to sew, I think masks is the best thing. That, I mean, you can do a lot of things with sewing, but I use I did the pleated mask, and basically it's just two squares, two six by eight squares of fabric. And then you basically combine it like you do anything. Like if you're doing a shirt, if you're doing pants, you got to basically combine it like you do a bass. You got to put the pretty size together, and then you sew it, and then you um unfold it. And that's how you make whatever. Like a lot of things, you got to have two pieces, and you got to put the pretty size together, and then you um basically um sew it, and then you put it back. You know, you make something just like that. <laughs> I saw that was like um. So I learned how to make. I learned how to sew by doing masks. And masks is, like I said, two pieces of fabric, just like you would have with any other things you're going to be sewing. Pants, shirts, whatever. You're going to have to have two pieces of fabric, like I said, and you slip it. I'm messing up talking to y'all, okay? I use it, I like my, my um thread closer up, but it's like, it's not as close as I want it, but it's going to be okay. I'm just saying I like to have it real close to the top of the ribbon. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and go through, and then I'm going to go put the other color on there. Make sure the, the ribbon is on the bottom and the the, uh, the tool is on the top. Just make sure you have enough for that doggone latch to go through. If you don't have enough for the latch, it ain't going to work. You got to do it all over again. I can't see y'all comments now because I'm concentrating. <laughs> but I'll be back at y'all in a minute. Let me get this done first. And I might just do one sock and show y'all one sock instead of doing both socks because this can be time consuming trying to do all this this ribbon. Okay, so I can just do one and that'd be that'd be cool enough. And it's just the same way for both socks. And like I said, my my tool is my tool is standing in the middle of the ribbon, so I don't gotta worry about cutting it when I'm done. Yeah, but this part gonna be on the back of the ribbon. The pretty side gonna be in the front of the sock. I'm sorry, on the, in front of the sock. So make sure it's folded. You're catching both ends. You're catching both of the pieces of the tool. Like I said, I'm doing straight stitch. My width is at a four. My 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 tension is my tension is at a four. My 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 width is at a three, and my Length is at a three for my stitching. You can do however you want to. Just some socks, y'all. Just socks and ribbon. And tool, tool. Yo, excuse my background. It's crowded. It's not a mess. It's just crowded. I got so much stuff going. I have my see my ribbon on the floor over there. I'm trying to get some ribbon. Trying to figure it out. And I didn't put it back. So excuse my background. I work a lot here. Let me see. And it's hard to see. Um, Tulu is hard to see. Just make sure you got both pieces on there because if it's open, your, your elastic is going through and it ain't going to work. Okay, so when we get to the bottom of this, I get my other piece ready and you can also glue right here. Basically I'm gonna glue when I get done. So I'm gonna try to fold it. Like you do your tool loose, you try to fold it crease it so you don't get this raggedy edge right here. I forgot to seal my dang on stuff. Y'all Y'all forgot to tell me to seal my ribbon. I'm gonna get the, um, my lighter real quick. I forgot to show y'all. Y'all need a lighter to seal your ribbon. I'll be right back.
Y'all forgot to tell. How y'all forget to tell me? Okay. So I got my lighter to go ahead and just seal your ribbon. So it won't fray because it will fray if you don't seal it. Okay. So seal. I'll keep on going. I'm going to go ahead and seal my pink right now while I'm thinking about it. I won't forget. Both sides, so it won't fray. And you can use um, the glue you can use. You can use hot glue. You can use fabric glue. I like using hot glue because hot glue seals quicker. It, um, it, it dries quicker. Because I tried to use some fabric glue the other day, and it didn't. It, it just took too long to, uh, to uh, dry. So I like to use fabric glue. But, I mean, uh, I like to use hot glue, but you don't want to put the hot glue on here now because it will mess up. It will gunk up your needle. So I'm going to just do that after we get done with it, okay? Just seal it up. So let me go ahead and finish this part right here. As you can see, I'm at the, at the tip of it. I'm going to go ahead and lay this. What the hell did I just do? What the heck did I just do? I'm supposed to have enough. Of... <laughs> I told y'all when I get on the live, I get messed up. I didn't do enough to do, y'all. It's supposed to be enough tool, tool for um both colors, y'all. Every time I get on live, this is what happens. Okay, this is what happens. I, I did these tulu socks perfectly by myself. What the heck? So okay, so since I can do that, no problem, no problem. It's, it's not gonna hurt nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and just backstitch this so I can just put some more tool in here. Girl, but any normal way, the normal way is to basically have two colors on one on your tool. So I measured it wrong. Talking and thinking, I measured it wrong. Always happen online. I can't edit it. But I did these all perfectly without messing up. So this is so much is how long this is, y'all. But this is how it's supposed to look. But I'm supposed to have the pink and the blue on one. So you don't have to worry about having all these div div divisions. You don't have to worry about all these connections you gotta make. All you gotta do now is just basically connect it to this one. But girl, I was wondering that yeah, the magnet works, yes, the magnet works. But I'm just saying, I don't have enough tool. I didn't count up enough tool. It works. So this is this is two and a half. I ain't do my math right, y'all. This is one, two. This is two and a half. I was supposed to do five yards of tour. That's what I did wrong. I was supposed to do five yards of tour, and then two and a half plus two and a half yards of these ribbon would have been on that five yards of tool. So my, my bad. I did two and a half yards of tool. I'm supposed to do five yards of tool. So yeah, I messed up again on my, on my live. Yay, Charmaine. So, which is okay. We can still do it, but just you got basically connected. You got to basically do more connecting to the other one. So I'm going to do it. It's going to be on the um, two and a half um, yard of tool also. We just gotta connect it more. We're gonna basically have we're gonna have to just glue it more than you have to. But other than that, we would have had, we would have been attached to it and it would be much better, easier, smarter. Okay. Girl. Every single time I do every time I have to do a live, but this happens. Every single time. This is my first time ever making this mistake. Because I've been talking to y'all trying to I can't do two things at once. One. Okay, like I said, I didn't mess up anything. It's still it's still workable. We can still work with it. But next time, do five yards. Do a whole five yard of tool. And then you divide your 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 ribbon. Okay, you don't got to divide your tool. Divide your ribbon. Why y'all ain't tell me that? Why y'all ain't stop me? I knew I said I needed five yards. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and put this pink on this yard like I did that blue. And it's gonna just be more work for me. Well, not more work. It's just like it's not it's not it's not attached to the blue, which is still fine. Well, on the other sock, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out five yards of tool on the other sock. So I'm gonna worry about gluing all this stuff together. Okay, y'all got me. Y'all know what? Y'all see what I did wrong, right? Let me see what y'all talking about. You talking about me? You cut too much ribbon? No, I didn't cut too much ribbon. I cut. I didn't cut enough tool. I used I should have cut a whole five yards of tour, but I just cut two and a half each. I cut two and a half yards of tour, of tour which I should have did five yards of tour. Yes, five yards per sock. Yes, it's five yards per sock of tour, and five yards per 
sock of ribbon, but if you're using two colors, you got to divide that five into two and a half. So I'm supposed to have two and a half, two and a half of ribbon, and then five yards of tour. But I just did two and a half yards of tour. So now I just got to combine it, which is no problem. But it would be easier to do five yards of tour because all that ribbon would be on one on one tour. You got it? So this was short on my tour. That's all. But it's okay. It's not going to be messed up. It's not going to be, it's, it's not a problem. But it just made it easier when you get all that ribbon on one piece of tour. Let me go ahead and do this real quick, real fast in a hurry because then I can just do, we're going to just do one sock today. We're going to do just one sock so y'all can see how it looks. It's going to still be okay. But just don't do what, don't do what I just did. Five yards of tour, y'all. Five whole yards. Not two and a half. Five whole yards of tour. And then two and a half, two and a half yarn. If I mean, ribbon if you're doing two colors. Okay. I'm just going to speed through this real quick. So I can get this. This is going to be one. This is just one sock right here I'm going to be doing today. Because I'm always messing up. <laughs> it's not a mess up. I ain't jack up nothing. There's nothing wrong with it or anything like that. But it's just, I'm doing, taking much more time because I got to set this one on here. It's going to still be cute, y'all. Still going to be, look the same. I'll be just be bashing myself up like that. I'll be making it seem like it's just the end of the world. <laughs> and y'all be like, Charmaine, it's not the end of the world. Every time I get on live, something always happens. And I'm not the only one, though. Every time somebody say they do a live, it's the same way because it's hard talking to y'all. <laughs> somebody said, just act like we ain't in the room, like, like we ain't here. I can't I talk to y'all. So if I'm here doing my stuff by myself, I ain't got to talk to nobody. I'm doing it by myself. <laughs> and I can think a little harder. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is funny. So y'all y'all feel my pain. Y'all understand. I hope. Let me move this over. Like I said, I like to have my needle right at the edge of my um fabric. At the end of my tool. Make sure you got enough space for that um um elastic to go through. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Hit the like bell, like button so you can be um notified when I do new videos. I appreciate y'all for following me. I think I appreciate y'all for y'all support. And the ones that y'all support me are going to my sites and buying stuff for me, my boutique, my children boutique, and my um adult boutique. Just put my needle down real quick so I know it's right there. I'm gonna go ahead and do a back stitch. Do a front stitch. Like I said, I'm not changing my color thread. I'm using blue on both. But if y'all want to do it, y'all can go ahead and change y'all color and make it pink right here. But I just can't stand changing the, the needle. Like I said, it's going to be a, a little uh, the, um, thread. It's going to be aligning in the pink, which is going to still be cute. It's pink and blue. Pink and blue. That's how we're doing it. I'm using a straight stitch. And I'm using, um, like I said, I have a brother, MS2700. MS, MS I wouldn't recommend this. Uh, because, like I said, my <laughs> I just bought this from Hobby Lobby, and my dang on um thread, my what is it called needle threader is not threading my dang on thread, so I hate that. So I gotta use a little tool to thread my thread. I hate that because I bought it because I wanted it to be able to be simple enough to thread my 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 needle without me going through all these issues. But it's not doing that for me, so I don't like this machine. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it, but it, it it goes good. Like I said, I got another I got another machine. It's a, a P, it's a SE625 brother. All my machines are brother. I like that one. It's, it's um, digi digital, but it's an embroidered machine too. So now I just use that for embroidery. And I bought this so I can use this for sewing. I'm doing a lot of more, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of months. I'm doing more sewing now. I'm doing a lot of, I'm sewing a lot of different kids clothes. No, I'm not doing adult clothes. I'm making kids clothes on my boutique. A ray of sunshine in a memory of my granddaughter. She passed away. She was stillborn. It's been a year. Her birthday was February. In February, she would have been one years old. So my goal when I bought all these machines was to make her all her clothes. So now that I can make her clothes, I'm just going ahead and make clothes for other people. Keep you know for my boutique. And I'm also gonna be doing some stuff um in the winter time since I know how to sew now, y'all. I'm gonna start making stuff for the homeless and for the, the um needy you know people the children that needs the things that they don't have that they can't get. I'm gonna do some Christmas, Christmas baskets in Christmas in December, and then I'm gonna do some hats and probably some um some hats, some, some, just stuff for little babies. Cause I'm not too good with making big a lot of stuff with different fabrics. So I'm gonna start doing stuff with that can that they can help out young babies like infants and toddlers. And I'm gonna just basically sew everything that I do. I probably like for like get some girls some tutus so they can just feel pretty. You know, when you're in foster care or if you homeless or in these shelters and stuff, you don't you know it's, it's a lot going on. So. 
I love doing new things, so I'm gonna think about doing like different kind of hats and, and pretty stuff for girls and boys and different stuff for boys and stuff. So things to help the things to help our moms, like birth cloths and stuff like that, simple things that I know I can afford to do and give to help out the next um to the um people that need it that's, that's fortunate. So that's my plans, my goals for this year to do stuff like that to help out. Cause a lot of people out here don't have this stuff, and then the COVID is making it worse. Oh Lord, now my dog on tour wanna ball up. It's never happened either. <laughs> Sorry, Fila. Thank you so much. Also, thank you. So dope. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all for following me and forgiving and encouraging me. Cause your girl be going through it. I be trying to do as much as I can. If y'all don't know, I have a I have a full time daycare center. Um, it's not going well right now because all the parents are not um working. So I'm talking my dang on. See, if y'all can see, let me show y'all how the thread looks. How it's going. Y'all can see that. How it's, see how it's close. I want it up at top. I want it top at the top of the um. And this is this is. Oh, let me show it this way. Maybe you can see it better this way. Yeah. See, it's, it's just like a lining. It's, it's cute. It's, it's okay. It's not perfect. Like I said, if you want to use pink thread, just go ahead and change it. Change your stuff to make it pink. Um. So it's. I mean, it's right now it's going kind of slow because all the parents they're not working. Everybody getting these checks, unemployment checks, and they're not. And they don't need daycare because they at home with their kids. So. Right now, I was like, oh, Lord, what am I going to do? So hopefully everything works out right then. If not, I'll be doing this full time because I would not be working for nobody else. <laughs> I've been working for myself for like five years. Well, over five years. I've been having daycare in my house for over 10 years. And then I've been doing my daycare in my building for like the last five years. And just knowing you had your own business for all these years, you're going to have a boss. I will not. With God, with, with God help. I hope y'all don't have to get a job that I have to have a boss. I've been my boss for, for all these years. I just don't see. I just, I just can't. No, I can if I have to, but I just hope that I can get stuff done, like just do my boutique and other other source of income that I can do to make some money to pay my bills and stuff. But let's just pray that my daycare, you know, these parents get their jobs to start working again. So y'all pray for me about that. Pray for me about my daycare business. It's not looking too good, y'all. Like I said, parents, they ain't working. They don't need to stop these checks. I mean, some people need these checks, but people got to get out there and work. So y'all kids can go to daycare. You can get these businesses open. A lot of day, a lot of daycares in my in my city, in my town, my state, they closed down because nobody ain't working. The parents ain't working. I got this big old building. I house all these kids, and I ain't got no kids. I ain't got enough kids. I got kids. Okay, I got kids, but I don't have many as I used to have for the pandemic. It's like, I'm not be paying all this mortgage for this building and I ain't got kids for it. Like, no, why? You know, kids are paying. Why am I paying all this money for this mortgage? For this, I mean, for this lease. I'm sorry. For, I'm not buying a building. I'm leasing it. So now what I'm doing is I'm cutting my um thread right here. And there you have it. So, like I said, if I didn't make a goofball of myself, I would have had five yards of this um tool and it would have been blue and pink would have been on the five yards. You wouldn't have to worry about it. It wouldn't be divided like this, okay? So my other sock, I'm going to put both of them on the same on the same tool, okay? Let me just show y'all close up how it looks. This is the front, this is the pretty side. I hope y'all can see that, I hope my light is good. This is the front, pretty side, okay? And what I'm gonna do is now, only thing we gotta do now um, is, is, is go ahead and put our, our elastic through here, okay? I'm gonna test our elastic and we're good. This is the front and this is the back. How See how the back, how the tool did not go over the ribbon? It's still just right in the middle. This is gonna be facing the sock. So you're gonna be able to see this part of this part of the um ribbon, okay? You're gonna be just seeing this part. Y'all got it? She said, my states are not participating in unemployment here, so you will pick up. I hope so, fabulous, fabulous. I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, I hope so because I need my stuff back. To, I'm, I got like, I'm used to having like 50 kids in my daycare. I got like 15. Okay, that's a big downfall for me. Big drop, big drop, because the parents are not working. So y'all pray for me about that because I need my, that's my money maker. I love working, my, I love my business. I love working with kids and um, I need that. <laughs> but um, if, if it feel, I mean, if I have to, I'm going to have to let it go because the rent is too, the more, I mean, the rent at least is too much for me to be paying. If I, if I ain't got the kids, it's just a waste of money. Depleting, and going to my savings and stuff. I can't be doing all that. Okay, y'all. That's enough of my problems, my problems, my issues. But I, I, just, I just brought that up just to say, Please pray for me and hopefully everything will work out for me. Everything will go good because um I love being in business for myself. I don't have to get up. I don't have to work for nobody. Not, it's going to be hard for me to find me a job. <laughs> I can't work for nobody, y'all. 
I can't do it. I don't know how to do it no more. Okay, I'm looking for my little tool so I can go ahead and start doing this elastic. See how easy that was, y'all? Tell me, was that easier or hard? What you think? Can you do that? Can y'all do that? Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, sugar and spice. Wait, would you say thread is a little tricky? Just use white on everything. I, I yeah, white, but I think white would be too bright, even though it might not be. I just would like white would stand out, but it might not be. It might not stand out. But when you use it, like if I'm using blue, like you can't see the thread on this one. So you, at least you can't see the thread on this one, but you would see the thread on the pink. And I thought it'd be cute because it's, it's lining, it's a lining. So I don't, I, I don't, I wouldn't, I mean, my, me personally, I, would, I wouldn't use white, but it's, it's probably the same. But at least one of the, like this right here, you can't see it. You can't see it. So this is blue, but the pink, you will see the blue. And I think that's kind of cute though. <laughs> Personally, it's a little lining on it, but white, I mean, it's no different. So white probably be okay too. Um, easy since I have sang, the same sewing machine. Easy since I have the You had the same sewing machine, Fabulous? The one I have right here? You have the um, MS2700? Yes, it's easy. I'm still trying to thread my machines. Um, Alexandria, what kind of machine do you have? Okay, so um Fabulosis, is yours threading right? Is your needle thread is your um threader working? This little thing right, this little gadget right here, supposed to be able to thread your need your um needle with this thing right here. Is yours working? You, you must have got yours that I told you I got mine, so I think you did tell me that. Do your thread your needle threader work? Fabulosis? Did I just get a lemon? Hey, just seems right, Linda. I'm glad you caught it too. Yes, because I just got it out of the box. <laughs> well, I used mine like four times and it stopped working on me. So I pray that yours stay working for you. Because I was like, what? This is the main reason why. Because I researched and I made sure I, you know, they had the, the features that I wanted. Um, Everything else I like. It's cool because I like it's easy. I like it because it's easy. Like, for instance, y'all, let me tell y'all this story real quick before I just thread this stuff in here. I had the brother machine, right? And my crazy butt didn't, was lazy, too lazy to read the manual. So I'm like, oh, it's digital. I thought the digital would be fun to have a digital sewing machine for my first machine. It's digital. Everything is inside. It's computerized. So you go in the screen. You got to look through the screen and find stuff. So I'm like, oh, this would be fun. Girl, I couldn't figure out nothing. I think my lazy butt didn't read the manual. So then I was like, okay, this, is, this looks easy. This right here looks easy. It's not in the screen. It's just a big old knob right here. Common sense. All the, all the stuff is right here. Two mean straight, three mean um, zigzag. It's all right here. Bam, bam, bam. Easy. A kindergartner can do this. So that's why I wanted. I wanted to go easy instead of instead of being more modern and going and reading a, and being being. I mean, digital is the best because it's digital, but this is easy. So then I go to read my dang on hand my um, my manual, and it's so easy to use a digital one. I love that brother machine because there's so many more. There's so many more um. Um, threads and things you can do right here. You only have like 14. You only got you only got 14. Well, it says 27. Oh, yeah, you got 27 stitches on here, right? You could do different stitches on here. It's only it's only 27. Man, on that brother, it's so many more, so many more because it's digital. You just push a button and then the stitch it just it just poof, do it. Bam, thank you, bam. It just works like that. So, yeah. So now I'm like, but like I said, I'm not using it now because like I said, my back stitches, I can't, my back stitch not working. That one, it has like automatic back stitch. It has automatic cutter. The scissors are cut the thread. It has automatic feeder. It has automatic, every, it's just, everything is wonderful on that machine. And this one is just a simple, basic machine, which is good for beginners because you got to worry about reading your manual. <laughs> girl, your girl is silly. But. I still got both of them. So when I when I want to when I get that fixed, I'm gonna go back to that one because like I said, that's got an overlock of stitch because Miss Parker told me about that. So if you don't have a if you don't have a serger, you can get that other machine that I have over there and you don't have to worry about it. You can use an overlock stitch on that. And that's good to know. Not yet, fabulous fabulous. I haven't did the new stitch yet. I have a girl bought me a um a ruffler. I bought me a ruffler um foot, so I don't have to worry about the loose stitch no more. I got a ruffler foot. But I haven't used that. I've been looking on YouTube trying to figure out how to use that. So I'm gonna use that too, so I can be able to use do my rumper, like a ruffle up the like ruffle up the sleeves. So what I do with this elastic, especially when you do two tools, I usually use not a marker. You get a p ink pen because the marker will seep through. So if you get an ink pen and then you just mark right here when it's gonna connect that, like you put a line right here or X or whatever you're gonna put right here and right here, so you can be able to know that it comes together like this because you don't want your elastic to roll. 
especially on a tutu waist or any kind of waist you do, you don't want it to roll. So I just put a little mark right here so I know to it connects because we it's gonna roll in these socks, okay? And it really don't matter if it rolls in the socks because it's they on your ankle. It ain't gonna be really irritating, it ain't gonna really irritate you real bad because it's on your ankle. But I still do, do it like this so I can be able to know if it's if it's straight. Okay, so I put two two um sides, and when I get done, it's supposed to connect just like this, and it's supposed to sew it just like this. I sew it like this, or if you have a time sewing like this, you can sew it like this. You put it like this, and then you sew it up and down like this. Sew it like this, or you can sew it like this. Whatever way works best for you. But this this elastic is thicker than the seven eighths, so I'm going to use this today for the first time. Usually I use the seven eighths; it's so tiny, and it get caught to my you get caught in my sewing machine, get all jacked up, whatever. But this is going to be thicker; it's going to be easier. Okay. This is a half an inch. Okay. So now let me go ahead and get my little. I use the um let me get my oh man. My big my, my big pins I have. I have a big pin to put on one end. And I have a big pin to put on the other end so I can slide it, slide it through. And I basically just um hook this to my tool. I mean to my tool so it won't move, okay, after I find out my, my other needle. Other pin, I'm sorry. But I also have this little tool right here. I like this um, tool. It's basically, um, you basically snap your elastic right here and you close it up like it by sliding this little piece down right here. And this won't open up. I got this from, I don't know, Amazon, I think. It's cool. But sometimes when I be feeding the elastic through this thing, I end up pushing this up and it's over with. That means you got to do it over again. It's a really nice tool, though. I like it. But I, sometimes I just stop. Lately, I stop using it because sometimes I push this up. And it and it comes up, but it's, it's it, I like it though. I really still like to use it. But since I'm on this video and things always happen, I'm gonna use the needle. I mean, the pen. But the pen won't open. Okay, so I can find my other pen. These are just wonder clips. These wonder clips are the bomb. I got a book full of these wonder clips. When I start sewing, you got the bomb. Got from Amazon. Hold on, y'all gotta find my dang on other pen. I found it. There's my other pen. It should have been connected together. I don't know what happened. So let's go ahead and feed these through. And I could super glue it right now if I want to hot glue it right now before I put it through the elastic. But you could do it while it's on the elastic too. Cause I gotta heat up my my heat, my hot gun glue, my hot gun glue, my hot yeah, my hot my hot glue gun. <laughs> my brain ain't working. My hot gun glue, my hot gun glue, girl. Okay. So, with that being said, let me go ahead and seal this because I didn't seal it. And I need to cut my thread. Real quick. Cut my thread and seal this. I can't see y'all stuff yet, so hold on, y'all. Uh oh. Sealing my own. Okay, well, we almost done. We gotta thread this. We gotta just um put this um elastic through, and we done, y'all. So make sure that this is going to be connected in the same way. This was going this way. I'm gonna put this this um pin right here so I can, can stop it from going all the way through. Okay, and it's straight like this. I feed it through, and I'm I'm feeding this through because this is a task. I'm going to go ahead and see what y'all talking about. Let me get it started first. Okay, let me go back and see what y'all saying. Um, this one has an overlock stitch as well. It does. I was looking for it, and it said it had overlock, but I just thought the um the one if you look at if I look at the stitch book in my on my brother's, it's a much much better overlock stitch. It's a different stitch, and I've been seeing the overlocks on YouTube, and the one on the brother's is the is the real real overlock. It does have overlock on here, but it's different. So you could probably still use it, but like I said, the overlock on this on the brother on the um the embroidery machine slash sewing machine is the really it's the real overlock. This one is the overlock too, but it's not the same. I did I looked at the book. Um, Evelyn, I have the same machine. Never had the problem. Finding the bobbin, getting ready to purchase the six. Yes, the S the S E six hundred is very nice. But Evelyn, if you want to do bigger projects or whatever, like it's only coming with a four by four hoop. The um S E six hundred, no S E six twenty five, only come with a four hoop, four inch hoop. So if you want to do bigger embroidery, you need to get the eight the, the um the P E the P E eight hundred. Okay, I got the um brother one. 
with the sewing because I knew I was going to use that for a sewing machine. And I was like, let me go ahead and get that just because I'm like embroidery. I used to have that as a sewing machine. But um, I um, it's a good it's a good sewing machine though. If you don't want to use it for embroidery, so if you're not worried about having that little small hoop for embroidery, go ahead and get it because it's a nice. It is a nice sewing machine. Um, which brother do you have that is digital? So the one I have a digital is a Storm Sling slash embroidery machine, and it's the P. It's the SE six twenty five. Yes, I had the ruffle foot too. Okay, then. If I just got it off of Amazon, I didn't use it yet, but I'm going to use that. Um, I need the ruffle foot. If I got it from Amazon, check out Amazon. I just put ruffle foot. I got it from Amazon. Um, I have a, I have two singers. One server. A server. One brother. And brother. Okay. So, hold on. I'm going to get y'all comments now. See, look at that. It's already getting already pretty. Look at that blue. That blue is cute. So look how it's ruffled all the way. It's already ruffled. It's good. You don't see anything. You know, um, when you put it on sock, you can just be able to see the tool for real. Cause see how it ruffles up so good around the ankle. So now, like I said, I could have kept on going with the pink if I wouldn't have had a, a long enough tool, but I didn't. So go ahead. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. I can just go ahead and attach it and then glue it together. Okay. No problem. No problem. No big deal. Just more. Just got to attach it at the end. So we basically gonna, at the end, we're going to attach it, glue it, fold it, and then glue like you do the tutu. Okay. Nope. I'm about to see what I do. No problem. But make sure, uh oh, let me make sure the guy I'm on the right side. So make sure, I was about to do it, I was about to do it backwards. Make sure they both matching. So this is the front, because you don't want the, the, the tool loop. The tool is in the back. So make sure I put this on right too. Okay. So make sure the tool is on the back, since I got two separate pieces. So let's make sure it's right. So, yep. Yeah. Hold on, y'all. Nope, not right. I got to go from this end. So I'm going to mess up again, y'all. So I'm going to go from this end. Uh oh. Yeah, it's right. No, is it right? Okay, so see now how it's matching now. The tool is on the back. The tool is on the back on both of them. And the tool is on, and then this is the pretty side. The pretty side here, pretty side here. So then you just go ahead and go ahead and through, go through with it. Let me go ahead and cut this thread first and seal it. Cause I don't know if I sealed this or not, y'all. I probably did seal it, but I didn't cut the thread. Let me just seal it just in case. Okay, I don't see no. Okay, so now I'm now I'm gonna go ahead and take my um piece and go right through it, right through. I'm gonna turn this way, y'all, because this is the way I I do it. I'm gonna just turn this way. But y'all see how pre size is pre size? They both in the front. Make sure it's matching. So you don't have the back. You won't have a mismatch. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Hello, Terry. Which brother? Okay, let me see what else y'all saying. Company, I have a scene. Okay, I said that I have a ruffler. Okay, let's see what else y'all saying. Charmaine, you are a blessing. I pray of pray all of your 50 students. Yes, thank you, Jesus. I, oh, yes, I need that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's str struggling right now. Thanks, I'll check it. They have some machines and a board machine. Yes, they do, Sarah. Yes. Um, it's called the Brother. SE 625. It is an embroidery slash sewing machine. It's a great sewing machine, but the, the embroidery machine part of it is only a four by four hoop, so it's very small. So it's limiting you of what you can do. Okay, it's very limited. But let me show you this real quick while I'm doing this. Um, I just did these last night. So you could do a lot of things in a four by four hoop. This right here was a four by four hoop. I'm just doing, you could do like patches. You could do things you put on kids' shoes. This, I didn't cut this out yet. So you can't see how, how it is, but this is the size of the hoop about this size. You see this black thing, this, this is the twill, about the same size as the twill. This is what the four by four hoop is. So you can do small things, but like you can do a lot of infant things, like, like you can do onesies and stuff. You can do like, um, what's, some, what's this car everybody be doing? Uh, they had like the letters, I can't think of the name of it, but it's like, you have like my initials be CNG. What's that called, y'all? I can't think of something, tip my tongue. People do a lot of that with those small hoops. My, let's, call, let's start with the M, monogram, monogramming. Do that with them small hoops, but when you, if you really want to do embroidery, you want to get bigger size hoops. At least a five by seven, at least a five by seven. But now I have a machine also one meter, one of the machine that has a six by ten hoop. Yeah, monogram, monogram. So you can do a lot with them small, but you don't get upset when you get it and want to do more and bigger things. Cause that machine, you can't get a bigger hoop with that machine. But for the P A P E A hundred, you can get a bigger. Uh, repositional hoop for that one. And they should come out with a bigger hoop for that dang on SE six six twenty five, but they haven't. I don't think. What's two by six inches? Sorry, my, my sorry, my nose itching. I ain't got no boogers. It is itching. Do you like your your? I have it's it's a PES six twenty five. 
Oh, somebody sing said somebody else. Somebody else. Somebody else got a PE three twenty five. I'm an SE three twenty five. Shout out to Cleveland. Love to watch you. I, I'm in Ohio. I'm in Toledo. Yeah, monogram. Let me see what else y'all saying. I'm sorry. I was gonna see how long is the piece of elastic. Um, the elastic for your um for the the toddler is a um six inch six inches. I'm almost done, y'all. I'm almost done with the stock. I'm almost done. <laughs> <laughs> like saying for me forever. She's like, how long is it? It's six inches for the elastic. Look how it's already. Look at that. Ain't that cute, y'all? We almost done, honey. The elastic is six inches. Let's see what else y'all saying. Um, I wonder if I could make that with fat. Yes, you can make it with fabric. Um, you make it with fabric. You make it with whatever fabric, a uh, ribbon, um. I got 226 people watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Go ahead and hit that um, like button so you can um, like this video. And also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to my channel. Look at that, y'all. This is how it's going to look on the side. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. So cute. And you can't see the Tulu. I, I just named my whole, I just named it Tulu, y'all. I've been calling this tool, Tulu forever. And I'm still saying Tulu. It's Tua. Okay, somebody just, somebody just uh, correct me. <laughs> <laughs> it's spelled T-U-L-L-E, so I just said it's Tulu. <laughs> um, okay, so this is, the, uh oh I want to lose this part now. I want to lose this needle. Come on now, come back up here. We want to lose it. But now what we need to do is go ahead and sew these ends together. And then I got to go back and glue the parts that I need to glue because my crazy butt didn't have enough tool. I cut it. I, I should have had five yards, like I said, but I only had um, two and a half yards each, which I had two and a half yards each of this color of the, 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 the ribbon. Okay, so let me go ahead and Unsnap these things, unhook these from the needle, from the pen. Lord, did it get tangled up? Oh my goodness. How did they gonna pin get tangled up into the dang on? Um, ah, I don't, wanna, I don't want to go. Don't leave me. Don't go nowhere. That's one thing is you gotta be careful to do. If you lose this dang on, um, Elastic, you got to start all over again. You got to do it all over again. So make sure you grab it and don't let it go nowhere, y'all. Don't let it leave you or forsake you. <laughs> okay. So now I have the ribbon. I mean, I have the elastic. I have, I'm have. i trying to get it together so I can make sure it's um turned the right way. But like I said, if it turns, it's not going to bother the kid's ankle. It's just it's thin elastic. It's not the thick elastic. It's a thin elastic. So it really won't bother it. But see how I made my little mark? The mark is in here right now. See, now it's still, I don't know if you can see it because my, it's, there you go. The mark is here, so see how it's supposed to attach? I, I marked it with the pin, so I can maybe show, no, that it's going, it goes just like this, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and sew my machine just like this. I basically fold it over an inch, about an inch, like this. Move the elastic, I, move the ribbon out the way as much as I can. And then sew it back and forth, back stitch it, back stitch it, back stitch it, and then I'll come back and show you how it looks, okay? Move it we done with this sock, child. I ain't going to do the other one because... My, my, it's almost it's the same way. Okay, so let me move this machine over here. What brand of thread are you using? I use any kind. I use right here. This is I use Coach brand from Joy and Fabric. Joy and Fabric right around the corner from my house. I can walk to it. They know my. They know me personally. Okay. So, but hi, Charmaine. Like that's a shame. So I go to a lot. I go a lot to Joanne's for my stuff because it's right around the corner. Especially my thread, because um, I don't need that much thread. I mean, I, you know, I, every time I buy something, like if I buy a, a tool or, I mean, some fabric or something, I just match it up with my fabric so I can know I got the right color thread, okay? So I get my, you can go cheaper on, you can go cheaper from these sites, but I just go on, um, I just get it from, what's the name? Get it from um, Hobby Lobby. And it's like, it's not Hobby Lobby, I mean Joanne's. I go to Joanne's. See how it's so, it's so tight getting using this dang old elastic because it's so little. So it's, it's, hard, it's a pain to sew elastic. But I would not, I would not use my needle on thread because I don't know how. I mean, I could. It's probably easy to do, but I don't want to. I want to use my machine because <laughs> I'm lazy. So that's the reason why I don't sew like this. I sew it like this, okay? Because it's hard to do. And if you don't, it don't matter if you sew, you sew it. And you ain't going to be able to see this little peak because it's going to be covered with this thick old ribbon. Okay, so I'm going to sew it like, like I usually do. Sew it just like this. By the inch in, and I go go up and down, up and down like this, and it's gonna seal both of these sides of the ribbon together. Okay, I'll show you when I get done. I do it this way, y'all. This is the way I do it. It's so hard getting that this little ribbon. I mean, there's elastic under this dog on foot. I do it just like this. Put it, let this hang on the side. Pull this in, 
and sew it. And you can and use a zigzag stitch for this, okay? Zigzag stitch for this. And my zigzag stitch is number two. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. Of course, it's going to give me a blue because I own up I'm on live. And that's what it does. Trying to make it match, okay? It's very hard because it's stretchy and it want to move. Every time you put it under the foot, it want to move. So it's good to pin it. Like if I put a pin right here or the wonder clip, just to get it under the dang on foot of the machine. Scoot it down so it won't get in the needle, of course. See, that's much better now. Okay. You can't see it. I'm sorry, but all I'm doing is putting the elastic under my needle so I can go back and forth, back stitch it back and forth so we can um stay. So I put my foot down, put my needle down so I can make sure that the edge, so I can start from the edge to the and keep on going back and forth with the back stitching. Okay. That pin really helped. This is my first time using the pin. I mean the wonder clip to do that. So that really helped me. So now I know what to do because it's struggle. The struggle was real. Cause I go down slowly, go back up slowly, back down slowly. You can do it about four or five times. It looks a mess when you get done. A lot of going to be in the way, but. I cut my thread. And I forgot to do the zigzag. But it's okay. I'm not selling these. This is just for my, like I said, I use a lot of this stuff for, um, to show on my site. But when you want to do, when you use it, um, when you do an elastic, you want to put zigzag so that can get, see, it came right apart. <laughs> Only on a live, it did that. So. I'm gonna do the zigzag. Girl, I'm telling you, I swear, I swear, and I don't swear, I don't swear. I always do this on lives. Like any other time I would've pulled it, it wouldn't have popped like that. <laughs> y'all think I'm playing with y'all? I am not playing. Like, this is serious. <laughs> I'm gonna do zigzag. I done did like 40 socks, okay? 40 socks, and not one of them, have, they pop like that. Just wanna make me look like a fool on this live, honey. So I'm gonna go in a little bit more. I got my zigzag on. Put my needle up, put my foot down, and then I'm gonna um, go down, needle down. Now I'm gonna zigzag it this time, okay? Watch your fingers. Back stitch, front stitch, back stitch about four, five, four times. That better not come up now. I got it good this time, y'all. So now I'm just going to cut. I'm going to pull it this time. See, it's on there good now. You see how it looks? It's basically like you're going to see this little piece sticking out, but it's okay. It's a sock. Okay, but if you want to do it the other way, go ahead and do it the other way. But this ruffle is so thick, it's going to hide it. You can clean it up a little bit. Clean it up, cut all the edges off or whatever. But just, um, it's going to stay on there. It's going to be stuck. It ain't going to come off like the other one. Like if you do it the other way, it might come off because it's not enough under the enough under there but you can use your needle on thread but i'm not doing that but now you just play with this just play with it you uh, cover that up real good mix mix and then you can also use white thread so you won't be able to see it use white thread if you're using white elastic use white thread this blue is so cute yeah i could have took it off the arm of the machine and did it but if i would have did that way when the needle was going it came because if i would have did it this way my needle was going, um, I needed to go, I needed to go this way. The needle going back and forth this way. So I couldn't have put it this way. That's why I couldn't do it. Well, not for the socks you can't, but there's other things you probably could do it, but I couldn't do it that way on this, for this, for this. Because the needle need to go this way. And not side, it would have been going side by side if I would have put it on the arm. It would have been going side by side. And that's not going to work. Okay, what, what she say? What fabulous say? Uh, let me see. I am from Columbus, Ohio, but live in Syracuse. Okay, there's four by four hoops available for some extra length. It is, Miss Parker. There are four by six hoops for the um SE six twenty five. Maybe the hand so <laughs> right, but I'm not on the Evelyn. I'm not on the host of the, the the hand song with the needle and thread. Mm -mm. I ain't trying to pick up nobody's needle by hand. Uh, I believe you. That's how. What I believe you, that's how it be. I really want a multi needle. I got my multi needle. It can't, I just got it. And I love it. I got a six needle. I love it. I just, I just watch for it. You could no, I mean, some people say they can tie it, but I just believe thread is better than tying it because sometimes knots come out. And if you know, if you could, if you make sure you back stitch it, it ain't gonna mess up, it ain't gonna come out. 
Um, peace and love. Let me just say good evening. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, Dempsey and hey, Dimps. We were looking for you earlier, girl. Where you been? You late. You late for class. Um, let me see. So now, um, it's, it's good. It's not going to pop because I made sure I backstitched a couple times. I used my zigzag stitch. It's cool. Okay, so now I got to go back and I don't got my heat gun. I'm gonna get the heat. If y'all want me to do the heat gun, I can. Or, um, but basically what we got to do now is just make sure that I connect these pieces together. The ones that I, this right here, this piece right here, and this piece, I basically just fold it like this and then, then heat glue gun it and then it just heat, you know what I mean, y'all. I glue it with the heat gun and it'll it look like this. It'll be perfect. If I fold it and glue it right here, and I and it just connect it like that, and it's perfect. That's where I didn't. That's why I connect, they gotta connect it from the um two different colors. But next time, just use both colors. But if it didn't matter though, because if I still use two different colors, you still would have to connect it because it was two different colors. So you still would have to connect the um the ribbon. But it is easier if you connect the ribbon on the tool at the same time while you're sewing it through the sewing machine. Okay, y'all got it. This is so pretty, y'all. So I got to do it again on this side, too. It's two pieces I got to basically glue. You get the heat gun, you glue it, and you fold it, and then you just basically, just like you do, if you ever made a tutu, this is how you do it. Look at that. Fluff it out. You can, you can do whatever you want with it. I haven't really played with it a little bit, but you can't see the tool. You can't see the tool. So let me show you how it's going to stop. Um... I have a mannequin over. Let me go get my mannequin. Okay, right back. I'm doing doing one sock today because I got things to do. I need to what I got to do today. I need to be um making these shirts. Uh, I got some sublimation to do later. I got some shirts to make. I got um what else I said I had to do. I maybe a list of stuff I got to do. I always make a list of stuff because if I make a list, I forget what I got to do. Um, sublimation shirts. I got that. I got some embroidery shirts I got to do. Oh, I want to do some patches. I found some Muhammad Ali patches I'm making, some um, LeBron James patches, a Prince patch, and what else? A Tupac patch. So I got some patches that I want to do with, with real people, you know, with some, you know, not living, with some that's still alive. I want to do some more patches because I'm really doing good. I'm really selling out of those Kobe Bryant patches. They love the Kobe Bryant patches. They are my little Afro patches. If y'all haven't seen my patches, go check out my, um, my store. But I'm gonna show you my patches right now too. While I'm right here on this live. Well, yeah. If y'all if y'all into patches, patches are very easy to make, and you can use you can make patches with the um the, the four by four hoop. Okay, perfect. I said the one I just showed you. I'm gonna show y'all some. I'm gonna show y'all the sizes of the patches so you can see if y'all really wanna get that four by four and see how big it it stitches out. But I'm telling y'all. If y'all really into embroidery and y'all like doing new things, y'all gonna be like, oh my God, I gotta get the next one too. So my best bet for you, if you don't wanna use that sewing machine, go ahead and get that PE 800, but it's very expensive now because everybody getting them. They like, I got mine for like, you're probably forgetting how much I be paying for my stuff. I don't remember, but I know it was, it was under, I don't know if it was 600 or 800. I believe it was 600 though, or maybe it was 400. I'm not sure, I'm so sorry. I got it from Walmart. Before the pandemic, right before the pandemic hit, I got it for like four hundred or five or five. It was either four or six or eight hundred dollars. Now it's like a thousand dollars, y'all. Yes, yeah, about a thousand dollars. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting the sock on here. You can put the sock on however you want to put it on here. Okay, got this from Walmart. You can fold it like this. You can bring it all the way up. You can fold it like this. You can fold it twice. It depends on how the baby leg is. But mine, I just fold it twice and I just hide the socks so you can't see it. So I hold it up like this. And then I just put the um a left, throw it on here. Make sure it's on the right side. You put it on here just like this to cover up the sock if you want to. You can put it down lower if you want to, or however you want to do it. You can put it down like this. Make some of the socks show. This is a toddler body, so it looks kind of big because this is a baby body. But this is for a bigger. This is a bigger for a bigger kid. This this size ribbon is for a bigger kid. Okay, or you can put it up some on the top higher if you want it, or you can do it lower. Look at that, y'all. But you can fluff it out. I didn't fluff it out as much as I need to. You can fluff it out, play with it, and it's so cute. Okay? You can do all one color. You can use glitter ribbon. You can do half-half color. Like I said before in the beginning of the video, you can use um, you can use this ribbon right here, or you can use, um, or you can do this. See how this ribbon is? Right here, you can use this on the top, and put this on the bottom. This is a this is seven, eight inch then you can put this on the um put this out here like so for instance this is going on top of this ribbon 
Because you see how you have this much left. So you have this pink on the top right here. And then you have this pink on the bottom. I mean, it could be any color or whatever. You could put it in the hat. It could be half, half. That'd be a cute stock to do too. You know what I'm saying? Sew this ribbon on top of this ribbon and it could be half, half. We do this on gold ribbon. I mean, glitter ribbon, whatever. These would make some pretty socks to go with your tulus, your, I mean, your tutus, your dresses, whatever. Hair, it can go on your hair for like a little scrunchy, whatever. This is cute. And this, I love this kind of different kind of, it's all kind of different. It's kind of, it's all kind of ribbon. Designer ribbon you can use to put on your socks. Um, I found this ribbon. This is cute too, but it's, it's gonna be so scrunched up. You might not be able to see all this stuff. Let's just say cheer. It says cheer on here. But since it's, it's gonna be all bunched up, you might not be able to see it, but I'm thinking about doing some Mickey Mouse ribbon. So many different things you can do with this ribbon, y'all. Like I said, this could be a hair scrunchie if you do a good smaller ribbon. If you got long hair, this would be a nice size for long hair scrunchie. A wrist on your arm right here. Make a little arm wrist band or whatever. So yes. Let me show y'all the let me show y'all my um the ones I already made because the ones I just came here late. Dimps. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> um I got made these. You know, this is the Laker color, y'all. Got me a, a tutu. I made this color. Let me show y'all my tutu in a minute. See, I hate not being on my phone because I'm on my phone. I can just be like, I can show y'all my tutu, but my phone be acting up, y'all. So I can't I'm, I'm, I'm on my laptop now. So it's my my purple and black. Man, my purple and gold. Here's my pink and black. And I made a three color one with the smaller ribbon, which is pink, silver, and white. This is the infant size. Sorry that light was in y'all way. Okay, and this, is a, this is a seven, eight inch ribbon. So it's smaller, not too wide. And we made this today, y'all, the pink and blue. I'm gonna do the other one later. Sorry that light, I'm trying to block that light. So I'm my big old head, but my big old head anyway, so I can block the lights. Nice, nice, nice. You can make these as scrunchies also. You can make it with scrunchies. Um, you can make it you put it in your hair, and your you can put it in your arm or your your ankle, whatever. And you can make hair bows too. Like you can make this out of you can make a hair bow with these. Um, this would be a cute little hair bow. You'll probably do something with um. Make one of these things and just tie it on one of these things right here. Put it like this on here. it will be a hair bow, a headband. That'd be cute too. Like a little headband. If you gotta glue it on here, however, or you get some get some thread or or get some ribbon and tie it around here like this. That'd be a cute little headband. But like you, if you just scrunch it up a little bit like this, and we can put it on the head on your head, on the side or whatever. <laughs> whatever makes you happy, do it. Just do it. Just do it, do it, do it. Let me see. What shorts you make, Dimps? Yes, like I said, I started out learning how to sew by making these masks. I made over a hundred some masks, right? That's my first thing I ever suit sewn was a mask. So I was like, oh, and it was so easy. I mean, it was, it was a good thing to learn to practice because you're taking two pieces of fabric, just like you do with anything else you make it. You're making, you're making, a, you're making a shirt. You gotta have two pieces of fabric for this. Put it, you know, um, pretty sides together, just like you do masks. So mask, and this is, the mask is easy because it's a square. You have two pieces, of, you should have two square pieces of fabric and you sew it around it, leave it a little hole, and you open it and then you flip it inside out and then you got you a mask. And you, you you know you pleat it, sew it again, and you got yourself a mask. And that's how you do everything else. You just you got two pieces of fabric, you put them together, turn them inside out, and you got you a shirt. I mean it's not as simple as that, but you know what I'm saying. Pillowcases are easy. If you learn how to sew, try to do a pillowcase, try to do some masks, just simple square masks, not the other masks. You gotta them them hard masks. That's who can't learn how to make those. Just do those the square masks with the pleats in them. Easy. There's so many YouTube videos, I'll show you how to do it. Easy way to learn. Pillowcases, do some handkerchiefs, do some tablecloths, anything that you got to put that's square. Easy to cut. Easy to cut. These simple skirts that we learn how to make, so easy. So easy. Two pieces of fabric, sew them together, flip them out. You're done. I mean, not hard. It, it seemed like it's hard. Like when I was younger, I'm like, I ain't gonna know how to sew. This sewing is boring. I used to always think sewing was boring. Man, if I would learn how to sew so long ago, I would learn how to make, I know how to make a dog. I would know how to make a dog clothes right now. But I'm too scared to make a dog clothes. I'm I'm good with the little tiny clothes, okay? I'm learning more things, learning how to do more things. I done made shorts, I done made shirts. I mean not shirts, I done made shirts. I made shorts, pants, flare pants, um, 
uh, bummies, and they're so cute. They're so cute. The bummies are so cute. They, they stretch fabrics. It was so cute. Um, Headbands. I done made all these things within the last couple of months. I made the mask way back then, but I just started doing clothing. It's only been two months now. Two months. And I done made a whole lot of stuff. Please check out my website, my, my Etsy page, Array of Sunshine 2020 on Etsy. You can see everything I done made. I'm so proud of myself. But I just know I, I can sew now. So much fun. So much fun. Yes, that's how I made the ones that um that at least that um that she made in her group. Uh, I can't think of her name. Aisha. Yes, Dimps. I seen you in there, Dimps. I be seeing you in there in her group. Um, so yes, I made everything that she made in her channel. I made. I didn't make that bag yet. She made a bag. I didn't make the bag yet. And um, something else she made. I didn't make it. I was gonna think. Oh, I made the hat today. I made the hat today. So I gotta show y'all my hat that I made today for the first time to match my flare pants. I made that today because she made. She did a, a sewing group. She did that hat yesterday, but she doing. They did that messy messy skirt. I ain't doing a mess skirt. It's too much for um too much fabric. I was gonna make my daughter one, but I don't know. We'll see. Cause she's small like me. I used to hate um doing sewing in school. I did that class, but I'm like, this is boring. I don't like it. So yes, I'm so happy because you when you get older, you get wiser. You're like, okay, you can do some stuff with sewing. You can do some stuff. So now I'm I enjoy it. I like doing. It. I like learning. But when I was younger, I'm like, I ain't doing no sewing. That's boring. Yes. It's, and then once you learn how to, people get scared and they be like, man, it's so hard to thread this machine. Just like these embroidery machines. Like I thought this, this is the needle machine I have. Let me show you my baby. Look at her. She over there. Uh-huh. She right there. I love her. And there's my, my serger. Like I said, here's my other machines. I'm so mad. I can't. I'm, I'm not on my phone, so I really can't show y'all. But here's my three my three machines over here, my embroidery machines over here. Okay. Um. So yeah, I got a lot of babies in here. I'm I'm just a big mom. I'm just a mama of all all things. They just been popping up. <laughs> so yeah. So y'all, these are so cute. Try to make these. Try to make these. They are so easy. How easy it was. Simple. Just one stitch all the way down. Three stitch down. So all you need is elastic ribbon and and tool. And some thread in the machine. Just go straight down. You good. Find your cheap machine. If you don't have a sewing machine, I'm gonna be doing more um more more projects on sewing machines. I'm learning, but I'm gonna teach y'all what I know. And then you can go ahead and go to um so sweet. So it's S E W so S O cute C U T E on Facebook. Aisha, she teach you one on she teach you how to sew, basically. She do a lot of lives on her channel and she teach you how to sew. And she's really good at showing you. Check her out if you want to learn how to sew because she's really good. She got if you go on her page right now and join her group, she got all these these lives in her event. So you go into the event part and you watch all her lives. You can watch them anytime you want. I'll be up at night watching. Like I said, I watched the hat one last night and I did it with her on the hat one. Let me show y'all the hat and I'm gonna show y'all my 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 um patches and I'm gonna show y'all the different sizes. So y'all, if y'all looking for an embroidery machine, y'all can see what size will work for y'all. First, let me show y'all my tutus, y'all. I, I just started making these tutus, y'all. It's the first one. This is not the first one I made. This is the first one I made right here. I made this one by myself, all by myself. I made this one. And then um, it's a small color, one piece of color ribbon because I was just trying to practice on myself. But this is by myself for the first time. Then my second time, I did this one with my um, this lady. Her name is um, Evelyn. And me and her did a live on um on Facebook and she showed me how to do it. Me and her did it together. She was so sweet. She's on Facebook and she had the bomb tutus, man. I'm telling you, she got the bomb tutus and she got the embroidery shirts to go with it. It's so cute. So I was like, show me. She's like, girl, I will show you. Let's go live. So we went live, we went well, we went on Messenger. And we did this one together. She had three colors and I had my three colors and we did it together. And then this is the one I did after she showed me how to do this one. I did this one my, all by myself, y'all. Let me show y'all this one first, hold on. Look at that. I did the bow by myself, girl. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. And look at this, y'all. We got this tutu with. I got a mess on the If y'all see my table, it is a mess. With my little the socks to go with it, girl. Look at that. Look at that, honey. That's took you little anklets. Okay, detachable anklets. So you can still wash the socks. When you use these, you can take off the sock and still wash them. You ain't got to worry about them getting the, the um ribbon dirty. So I got that one. I be like, I just love showing y'all my stuff. I'm just so excited. I know how to sew, girl. Look at this one. 
It's so fluffy. I did this all by myself. And me and her are supposed to get together again and do another one. But hers is the bomb. Hers is the bomb.com. He is a real beast when it comes to these two tools. I want to make more so I can, you know, just sell them. And I just can't wait to see some little girls in them. I can't wait to see them in them. Okay. Oh, I'm, oh, I went to get, I went to get the hat. What I do with the hat? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just reading through y'all post. She, damn, she afraid of the embroidery machine. Which one you got, Dimps? Thanks, Dimps, for doing her um her web the Facebook group. Um, I didn't do the um, I didn't do it yet. I didn't do the private session yet. I'm, I'm doing it. She went ahead and did a video for me because she wasn't feeling good. Um, so she could you know did a video for me. So I got to go check it out. I'm gonna check it out tonight to see um to do the rumper. So she we couldn't do a live because she wasn't feeling good. So she just did a video for me, a private video lesson. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at it tonight, and then I'm gonna do the rumper tonight. My moderations. What do you mean? Bonnie, oh, my face. Um, let's see. I went to Hobby Lobby and got the. Oh, you got the. I see. I never heard of that one. Is that the one needle, right, Dimps? It's one needle. I never heard of that one. No, but I think I did see that Hobby Lobby. I think I did. What um, what hoop do I go up to, um, Dimps? What hoop? What size hoop do I go up to? That's a good price. I paid. I think I paid more than four hundred dollars for that dang on E six stop. I mean the P E P eight hundred. Maybe I pay eight hundred for it. Or maybe I pay six hundred for it. What well, hoop would go to Dimps? The four by four? Okay. Well, that's not a good. That's a good price though. Well, I paid like for that the one that one four by four hoop. I think I paid four hundred dollars for that too. But it's a sewing machine slash embroidery machine. So four by four. You scared of it, girl? Let me show. We gonna just do a one on one. We could do a one on one or something. Um. Let me show you. Okay, this is the hat I made, y'all. Ain't this hat cute, y'all? Oh my goodness, it's a newborn hat. Cause my thing is, I really want to start doing newborn um, baskets too, and that's gonna be good for the for the um the, the needy, you know, the the unfortunate, less fortunate in the um foster care. I'm gonna do some some boxes, some infant boxes. So I'm gonna do a hat, all handmade. Okay, um, it's gonna be all handmade. A hat, a, um, a bib. I'll make a bib. I got the the um the, uh, the designs for it, the patterns for it. The hat, the bib, the um. The uh, the birth cloth, and then I'm gonna do a bow for a girl. And I want to know how to do. I want to learn how to do them bucket hats. Some bucket, them bucket hats is cute. That's my thing. I could do tonight on YouTube because you know what? I, every night I don't watch regular TV. I watch YouTube. That's how I learn all this stuff. So tonight I was gonna look at the bucket hat um, tutorials, and I was gonna look at the ruffle. See how how to use the ruffle um, foot that I just bought. Um, what was I saying? You guys gonna do that? I was gonna put make some boxes, some infant boxes. Let me plug up my computer because it's about to go dead. So infant boxes, and I was gonna put like in all handmade the um the um birth towel, the bib, like I said, a bow for the, the girls and a hat. And I was thinking about doing like a onesie, embroidery onesie. Or if I don't do the embroidery onesie, I could do a, the the gown, a embroidery, uh, embroidery gown. But I really don't want to keep on buying more and more of this um uh, of these in, these items. Because it's so hard to come when you sell out. It's hard to get. Like I just got in trouble for not having a rumper. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have a rumper because they was I didn't had a size that she needed, and then I was gonna make her one, but I didn't get time to make it because you know things people get busy, life go on, so I couldn't do it in time for me to have it shipped off when she was ready for it to be shipped. So I just went ahead and um made her a shirt. She said she's okay with the shirt, and I gave her some other extra stuff you know for free because the inconvenience that I caused. Because I told her I had a rumper and I didn't have it, so um I fixed everything and hopefully she liked it. But yeah, that's why I said I don't want to keep on buying extra stuff. Like I don't want to keep on buying these gowns. Okay, t-shirts and onesies are okay. That's my main issue. My main focus will be um me buying for my infant store, my infant boutique is to do the buy the t-shirts and the onesies, and then I make the bottoms. I want to make everything else because I can get fabric. But sometimes fabric can be hard to find. Like, for instance, if I if somebody want this, I got to make sure I got enough this in stock. I did a little business chat on my last live. Check it out about 
keeping your business afloat as far as knowing how much fabric you're gonna need, getting extra fabric, getting extra stuff. Because I made I'm showing y'all my mistakes. I made a mistake by not having a dog on rumper that I said I had and I didn't have it. And I thought I can go, oh, I got it, because I can go to the to the um place my vendor and get it. No, she sold out, she didn't have no more. Everybody was sold out. So it was like, ah. so you gotta just make sure you gotta do good my business. Um, um do like like I said, I had a I had a brick and mortar store. But I, it was just it was it was it was stuff that um it was women clothing plus size shoes purses all that stuff, and I bought stuff and I was able to get it and get it. But now my boutique is all about hand making stuff. I make everything, I make everything in my adult stuff store. I make things from umbrellas to t-shirts to bags to to mugs to tumblers. I make all my stuff. And then to the, in my boutique, in my children boutique, I'm making clothes. I'm getting the t-shirts and the onesies from a bender, but I'm making the bottoms and everything else to go with them by my sewing machine. I'm sewing everything else up, okay? But that's my thing I want to do because fuck to remember the honor of my granddaughter. Just keep her um her um name alive, which her name was Araya Nicole Ray. And um the shop is called A Ray of Sunshine in memory of my granddaughter. So this hat is so cute. I made this from um Alicia Aisha. I give her name. I just call her Alicia I call her Aisha. Um but yeah off her let's go to so so S E W S O Cute's um Facebook group and she does one she does a lot of lives on her Facebook group. Now she's not on YouTube, she's on Facebook. And she made this hat yesterday and I made me a hat. And look at these pants. I made these pants by myself. I bought I got up this this I got this pattern off of um Etsy probably. It's a lot of free patterns out there too. So check out the free free patterns and stuff. But this is some stretch pants, little flare pants. Y'all, I made my own pants. I made a little booboo right here. It's like you can see when I put my hem, when I did my little waistband. I think I didn't, this is not stretchy enough. I didn't cut it on the stretch, so it made a little gap right here. But this is just for show. And if I'm just put it on my own website to um just to check, you know, just to show you. But now I'm making it again. I know what I'm doing wrong. So if I make it again, it'll be all good. But look at that. And then what I can do is I can make a get a onesie or a t-shirt and then put applique. You know what applique is? Applique is when you use fabric. Instead of thread, when you do an embroidery machine, and um, I'm gonna show you that in a minute. If y'all know what applique is, I'm gonna show you what applique is. When you can use fabric instead of thread on your designs on your embroidery machine, so that's cute, huh, y'all? Is that cute, y'all? I just love making little tiny clothes. Only I wish I could do it for my granddaughter, but I can't. So I'm doing it for everybody else. So I was gonna make all her clothes. What is her name? Go to So So Cute on Facebook, and you will see her. Her name is Aisha. Okay, let me see. Love your tutu. Where did you find the keys mannequin? I got that keys mannequin off of Amazon. Just put in um, Tyler mannequin on Amazon. Yeah, I will. I want to. We have a lot of stuff going on. So so deep design. Um, we do have a lot of things going on in, in our state. Sometimes, like around the summer, springtime, we have a lot of a lot of different um, fashion shows for little kids. We did last year, so hopefully this year we do the same thing. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to find some kids that can do, to um to do those and I do also want to do some um just some stuff that um that people that's not some different. I want to try to sew up some stuff that's different that people be like, oh that's unique. That's different. So I'm thinking about stuff now and then of what I want to um what I want to fashion put in the fashion show. Like um mom and me stuff. Like I want to have a mother and a daughter having the same shirt or outfit or whatever. Something that's cute, tutus or whatever. Um, shirts or whatever. Um, just want to do, and then like the bummies is cute too for little girls. So I want to do a lot of stuff. Like I said, I'm a, I'm trying to get this stuff together now. So when they do have a fast show, I'll be ready. Especially with the tutu, tutus would be cute. That's want to be extravagant. I want to do something out of the ordinary, you know, some different. So I'm believe me, I'm searching. I'm looking. Did you make your shirt? Yes, I did. Like I said, I can make it for you if you need to want this shirt. I can make it in a t-shirt, any color t-shirt you need, and I can make this for you. Just go to my website, um, my Etsy page, Charming Gal Boutique Number Two. I don't think this shirt is on there. I don't remember putting this on there because I made this for myself. But if you want this, I can make it. Just go ahead to my Etsy page and just message me and tell me you want this shirt. And let me know what color you want. You want a sweatshirt or you want a t-shirt? And I can put. I can. I can send you an invoice. Um, what's the name of your store on Etsy? My name of my store on Etsy is Ch uh, Charming Gal Boutique Two. The link is in this in the feed. I know um, Dems put it in here. Charming Gal Boutique Two. All one word, charming gal, G A L number two, on Etsy. Number the number two, on Etsy. And then like I said, a ray of sunshine. A ray, ray is spelled R A E. 
of Sunshine 2020 is my children boutique. Thank you, Ms. Parker. Thank you, ja uh, uh, ja Jacqueline. No, this is not rhinestone. This is mosaic from um from 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 cricket. Mosaic. I just showed y'all. Let me show y'all again. I showed it earlier today in the video. So if you you can make it yourself, but if you don't want to make it, I can make it for you. Check out my page, my Etsy page, and I can make this for you. But this is what I use. Holographic. Um and guess what? I got a video on show you how to make it. So go to my Facebook group, my Facebook, go to my YouTube channel, and I got a video on how I made this too. So if you want to learn how to make it, if you don't, if you want me to make it for you, fine. Go to my YouTube channel, make it for yourself. I got a whole video. So if you want to know what that is, it's on my my YouTube channel. So go look for it. And it's I think it's like how to make a sweatshirt with mosaic, cricket mosaic, or something like that. You'll see it because I got the picture of it on my um thumbnail. Thank you, Fabulous. Fabulous just went on here to put the link in for my Etsy page. So check her. You can click on her link and never take it right to my Etsy page. Oh, uh, thank you. Happy birthday. This is her, everybody say happy birthday to Miss Lily Ash Girl. M Lily Shea Girl. Lily Yes Girl. Little Yes Girl. I don't know what they say. Yeah, it's her birthday. Say happy birthday to her. Happy birthday. Hope you had a blessed day. I'm checking your name all the way up. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> it's her birthday. How old are you? How young are you today? No, it's not real rhinestones. Nope. They're flat. They're good. Good night, Evelyn. What time is it? Y'all be having me up in here. It's 11 o'clock. Y'all be having me up on here too long. I need to get my... Um, What I got to do today? What I really got to do? Look, what's what's, what's got to be the first thing? I'm going to go ahead and get these... Um. I'm gonna go ahead and get my. I don't even know. I don't need to do orders today, cause I don't have nothing done to do in a couple of days. So I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. I'm gonna do my orders for tonight. I'm gonna do some fun stuff. So like I said, I might end up starting to do start on my little patches that I wanna do. I'm gonna show you the patches real quick. I'm gonna do a Muhammad Ali patch. I'm gonna do a um um. Here go my here go my Kobe girl. I'm telling you, these this Kobe right here sells out. Okay, sells out. Everybody buying this on my site. So I got I got LeBron James, the same color face. You're gonna have the purple and gold on it just like this. So I got LeBron James. I'm gonna be I'm gonna put on my site. I'm gonna do I'm gonna, I gotta stitch out. I got a Muhammad Ali and I got a Tupac. So hopefully those three will do good too. I don't have no orders tonight. I'm not gonna be on here long because every time I do be on here doing orders, I mess up. So no, not tonight, honey. Sorry. Somebody said, can they be on here watching me? No, I need to be focused. Somebody said, uh, I was watching somebody live the other day. It's like they love doing lives because they get stuff done. I love doing lives, but I never get stuff done. So I always like to talk or I be messing or I be focusing on what you know what I'm doing with y'all or whatever. So I, don't, I like doing. I don't mind doing lives on stuff that I um. So I don't mind doing. I love doing lives. I don't got to worry about editing. I like talking to y'all. I like you know explaining and asking y'all questions. I love all that, but um. I don't want to be on here too long, so that's why I'm not gonna do no. I'm not gonna do no more live. I'm not gonna be on here that long tonight. Why do I have two of him? Why do I have two packets of him on here? Like, did I pull it, get somebody one and I didn't sell it? That is crazy. I don't know why I got two packets. I must have just made that and forgot to give it to somebody. Lord Jesus. Why did I do that? Anyway. I have so many patches in here. I love, 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 love doing patches. This right here, I did this one because I got it on my site. I got a purple one. So I said I want to do a pink one, but I didn't cut her out yet. I need to just cut her out so I can put it on my site. I just didn't have time to, to cut her out. But I got a purple one like this on my site, but I changed it. And then I want a pink one too. This, okay, let me tell you know what the 4x4 four four is. Um, This is a 4x4. Four four. This is called 4x4. Four four. You can make this in a 4x4. Um, four this is a five by seven hoop. This is the what's up? This is applique right here. Applique is this is fabric. This is fabric into my it's applique. That's what I'm telling you about the applique. So I could put fabric in in her jacket. It's, a, it's called applique. I didn't do the Prince patch yet. That's why I say I got Prince, Muhammad Ali, Tupac, and LeBron James. I still gotta do those. I haven't did those yet. I gotta stitch them out. I haven't stitched them out. I just got them. So there's another applique right here. And I also have one that says Black Lives Matter. 
Instead of having the stillers, it'll be Black Lives Matter fabric in here. If you're interested in these packs, these are all iron on patches. You basically buy them from me, and when you get them, it's like a um, it's like a um, a, um, coating on the back of it, and you just iron it on your on your clothes, on your jacket. You can iron it on your kid's shoe tongue if you if you want a smaller one. I can do a shoe for a shoe tongue. Um, put on your jacket. You put on your um Letterman jackets, your jean jackets, your jean pants, anything. Yes. Oh, you want to learn applique dims? Yes. Check out my videos. But if you want one on one, just let me know. But um, dim is so fun to do applique. Fun, applique is fun. This applique right here, her jacket is applique. That's fabric right here. It's not all three. That's fabric. Okay. Applique is so much. It, it's just so much. You can do so much with applique. You can put anything you want. Whatever fabric you can find, you can use it. All these are five by seven hoops. I can tell. I'm gonna tell y'all what the four by fours are. These are all five by seven hoops. This one right here is a six by nine hoop. Ain't she cute? Six by nine hoop. One needle. All these, all these are done with one needle though. If you got one needle machine, you can do all those. This is a six by nine. I just made it big so I can see how big it could be. This is this is um this is Black Lives Matters fabric and this is a, um this is applique also. All this is one needle machines. I use it on one needle machine. Okay, one needle machine means it's all one needle. And you don't have to worry about the six multimeter or whatever, the, the multimeter machines. Here's the one I was saying, the Black Lives Matter fabric. Got this in white and black. Here's the Stiller fabric. That's the applique right there, too. I got 200 people still watching me. Thanks for sticking around, y'all. Thanks for sticking around. Yes, but if, if you want to, anybody that want a one on one with me, go to my um my Facebook my Facebook name is Charmaine Galloway. Go to Charmaine Galloway and message me, and let me know you want a one on one. And I could do whatever cricket, sublimation, embroidery, anything you want. I could do a one on one with. We basically do a Zoom class or whatever, or we could do something, and um I could teach y'all step by step on how you want to do it, whatever you need. I do for my one on ones. It will be ten dollars an hour because I have video, one hundred some videos on my on my page that you can go through. Everything you see on here, I do it. I have a video on it. But if people want one on ones. I can do it for ten dollars an hour, or you can come to my. This is a, this is a, this is how it comes when you get it because you pull this white piece of paper off and it basically um stuff on the back. I gotta cut this off. I usually cut around it though. I had to cut this off too. If you're not a member to this group, please. If you're not a member to, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that red bell so you can be notified when I bring um when I when I upload new videos. I love doing stuff like this. I love teaching what I know. Everything I every time I find every time I learn something, I come and teach y'all. So check that. Just subscribe to my channel so you can be notified. And also, I do a lot of giveaways. I just did giveaways the other day. And I shipped all your give. I shipped all your stuff to y'all. If y'all send me your email, your mail address, I did ship it out to y'all. So y'all will be getting your stuff soon. I gotta, I gotta um get the, not, uh, I gotta um burn this with the lighter, cause it's, it's um fraying. But all these are on my site, so if you're interested in any of these patches, you can um go to my site and purchase them. Or if you want interested in learning them, go ahead and inbox me on you on Facebook, Charmaine Galloway, and I can do a one on one. Or you can look at my videos. I have a video on how to make patches also. I got a video on tell you how to make. I got. I, I did a Letterman jacket also. I got a video on everything, sublimation, everything. Any questions? You missed the whole. It's been. We on here for two hours. Girl, y'all know the time be going fast when I'm on here with y'all. Dang, it is eleven. Yeah, I got on here at eight o'clock, eight thirty. Almost three hours then. God, that time be going so fast, y'all. I'm telling you, see, I'm telling y'all. See what I'm telling y'all? I got on here about eight. No, maybe it was nine o'clock. Maybe I got on here at nine. So I was supposed to be here at 8 30, but I was had other things I had to get done before I got on here. So maybe it was nine o'clock and it's eleven something now. Look 
Look at that. I mean, fabric. And this is a, this applique. I did her face. That face is the fabric. It's not thread. That's face in her hair is fabric. Brown fabric and brown fabric right here. That's the applique also. And that's it, y'all. I think. That's cute, too. Well, yeah, this is the one right here. This, this Kobe Bryant. I know I got to cut him. I got to cut that black around. I got to cut that off. It's not the right one. I, mean, I ain't going to show y'all that one. It's not the one that I'm going to show y'all. So this one right here, yes, this is my big seller. I'm doing this thing every other day. I'm taking, I'm getting sales with this. And then he got, uh, he got this one to go with his. He got this one. Everybody just buy this. They love it. But I, got, I get a sales with my Afro ladies too. People like these Afros. They put them on their coats, their jackets and stuff. Just you could, you could be, you could be a statement. Have a, make a statement piece. You're around walking around with your statement piece. Like I have my statement pieces. I got this lady on my jacket. It says it's Black Lives Matter, and I got a couple other ones on my jacket too. It's just a statement piece. You can walk around with something on your jacket, just showing a, a statement. Um, these are the ones that the Kobe ones. But now I'm going to go do a Muhammad Ali one tonight. Muhammad Ali one. I'm gonna try to get it because this um, Muhammad Ali, Tupac, LeBron James, Prince. I think that was it, right? LeBron James, Prince, Muhammad Ali. I just got them off of Etsy today. I mean, the other day, so I was like, let me go ahead and do those. I got to do those. I need to do these shirts. Um, and I got sublimation shirts, embroidery shirts, and that's all. That's a lot, ain't it? Yes, these are all embroidery patches. Yes. You got to do this on an embroidery machine. You've been to my channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have embroidered a baby rumper while watching. You wasn't? Let me, I gotta see. I show it to me, Fabulous. I wanna see it. Where you get your rumpers from? They ain't sold out the ones that well, were. It was a two, I said, I needed a size 2T. They ain't had no more 2T. But I have some rumpers. So I just took all the rumpers off my site because I'm not about to be uh, dealing with no extra in, in extra items because it's like, it's hard to come by. So I'm just gonna be doing t shirts and, and, and um onesies. And I'm gonna make all the bottoms for them. I'm trying to make, I'm trying to figure out how to um make those um bucket hats. Those are so cute. The bucket hats. Those are so cute. Do you make any with the bilingual names? I mean, blingy names? To, yes, I could do whatever you want. Yes, just inbox me and we can talk about, I can make whatever you want, personalize whatever you want. Where do you get your twill fabric from? I get it from um Twill USA. And Amazon. Where do you get your? Oh, okay, fabulous. Thank you, thank you. I can't read your name because it's. Thank you. I need you need a bees, but can't reach you. You need what? Just inbox me. No, I never got it from stars before. Or did I get from stars? I'd be buying stuff. I don't know. I gotta check out. I heard of stars. I don't know if I went to them or not. But they got. I think I went somewhere and got this one twill and it wasn't right. I don't like it. It's like a. It's like a leather kind of type. I don't like it. So I don't like that kind. So I don't know if I got that from stars or where I got it from. But I think I heard of stars before. They have some. Um, okay, you talking about okay, stars? I'm gonna check that. I don't know if I got that. I, went, I think I don't know if I got that. From stars. I went somewhere and I got this dog on fabric, and I don't like it. But I'm gonna check out stars. Thank you. Yeah, uncode it. Yeah, I know what you meant. Ooh, crocheting. I really I want to know how to crochet too, Miss Black. But it seems like it's so hard. It's something I probably won't do right now because it just seems like it's so hard. But I try. I looked at a lot of videos. A lot of videos on learning how to crochet. But just doing that, like, how the heck y'all know where to go with that thing? I try. That's probably not my cup of tea. I try everything else with crochet, and I won't. I won't do crochet. I won't say that. I won't say it right now. But I won't do crochet. I haven't done crochet. I won't do the bling shirts, and I won't be doing um uh. Uh, epoxy because epoxy is too strong for my son. I do I do um what I do y'all what's it called? I don't use epoxy. 
Crystal Lack. I use Crystal Lack. I want to learn how to um, do some, some what's it called when you're doing the blankets and stuff? Not crochet, but the, um, I'm so lost with the birds. I want to learn how to um, do some, the patches and stuff when you saw them on the blankets. What's that called? Y'all know, you're about to tell me in a minute. Quilting. Yay, somebody told me I know it was going to be, I couldn't think of the word. Yeah, I want to learn how to quilt. I got the material I need to make my daughter off because she, her daughter passed. So I was going to make one for her, for memory of her daughter. With that different patches and stuff on there. I got everything I need, but I'm just scared. Yes, you are spelling it right. It's called crystal lack, all one word. You are spelling it right, fabulous. It's all one word. Um, yeah, I want to do that. I want to. I want to do that for her. But I know it's time consuming, but that just seems like it'd be just so monumental. It'd be just so just memory. It's just a nice memory to have a uh, patched. Uh, 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 what is it called? You just told me a quilt with the patches of in memory of my granddaughter. That would be so beautiful, just for her. Like I probably won't do it. Like I won't do it for no business. I won't do it to put on my shop. But I would rather do. I would love to do it for myself and one for my daughter. And maybe one for my grandmother. Maybe for my family members. But I wouldn't put that on my shop because it's just too much work to do. But that would be something like be fun and so just nice to have. A, a quilt with, with memories on it for that but um and like pillowcases are real small i could probably do a pillowcase which won't be as big as a quilt because i'm just scared if quilt is just so big and so much you got to think of doing to make sure it's right and cutting squares i can't cut straight all kind of things i think about so yeah yes yep damn so i use crystal lac and not epoxy crystal lac is, is non um toxic Yes. Oh, by hand? Nah, see, I wouldn't do it by hand, Miss Virgo. Now, I'm, I'm going to do a quilt, but I'm not going to do it by hand. That is so sweet, though. She said she did all the patches with by hand. Wow. Yeah, I couldn't do I can't ask. I would not. I don't want to use a needle on thread. Okay? I would not. That's something I, would, I, I won't do. So machine is my best friend. That's what I'm going to do. But by hand, that is amazing. A B patch? No, I never seen no B patch, so I don't know. Try to inbox me again. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen no B, B patch, Miss uh, Lily. So try me again. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can find you. Is your name Lily on Facebook? Yeah, quilting it seems like it's, it's it's just really good. Um, or, or message me on Etsy, Lily, if you can, if I can't get you a messenger on Facebook. Um, Charmaine, I saw some of your other stuff you made too. Thank you. I do commit so crochet, make jewelry. Yeah, I tried to make candles and it didn't work out for me. So I got a lot of stuff I need to sell because I got a lot of wax and stuff that I need to get rid of because I'm not going to make candles. I probably still do the, I like doing the little, um, some things called the little tiny wax melts. I like doing the wax melts. So yeah, I started that, I started that journey. I don't know if y'all was following me. I started that candle journey like a couple months ago just to try it. I bought all this stuff, y'all, and I'm not even using it. So I need to sell some of this stuff. Try to give it away, sell it. I really want to sell it because it's a lot of stuff. I mean, I got all kinds of stuff. I still want to do mex, uh, wax melts because I bought all these dang on different silicone stuff. I'm like, it's going to be so fun. I can do all this. I just spend the money. I'm thinking about selling some of this. I got so many different fragrances and stuff, or whatever. I need to stop. I just see something else. Let me try it and go out and buy all the stuff I needed for it and don't use it. I was hand sewing my grandsons and stepdaughter stuffed animals. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, I teach him my youngest how to. Oh, that's cute. Your crochet is cute to teach your kids. I like to have. I like them crochet dolls. That is so amazing. I've seen them little crochet dolls and crochet hats. Everything crochet is cute to me. But I just don't see how I can do it. I, like I said, I watched the video and it seemed like how in the world you know how to loop this stuff? How do you how do you do it? How do you make it happen? How do you make that happen? A whole dial from just some yarn. It's amazing. Okay, she said you can cut put yeah, I got like I got the square meat the square rulers. Like it's like a square ruler. I got all that stuff up all this stuff I need. So I got the equipment I just can cut. I read the cut. People always say you can use your um cricket for material, and that's why I bought the maker so I can be able to use it for um fabric, but I really rather just cut it by scissors or 
because I tried to make a mask off of Cricut and it was just like, I don't know, it just took too time consuming. I mean, it worked. I'm not saying it's wrong or there's nothing wrong with it, but for me, it's time consuming because you got to put it on the mat, you got to put it in the computer, you got to go and upload it to the to the um to the Cricut. You got to make sure it's the right size. But when you could just go and just get some scissors and cut it out. So I'm saying it's just more time for someone when using the Cricut. But that's the reason why I bought the Cricut maker so I can cut fabric, but I don't like cutting fabric on my Cricut maker. I don't really do it. I don't, I'd rather just get some scissors and cut it. So easy, simple as like that. But I understand what you're saying because it will make it straight. Like like the bowls and stuff, it'd be so easier for me. The people say, why you don't cut your bowls on Cricut? It'd be so much straighter, but I'd just rather just use my scissors on my bowls because it's so time for someone. You got to upload the image, turn your computer on, all that stuff and I can be just cutting bowls on my bed. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it's simple and easy and less time when you can just do it in your bed. I mean, you could do it with scissors instead of doing it on a Cricut. But Cricut is better because it's, it's it's much sleeker, sleeker, and your your um your bowls come out perfect. Let me show you my bowls while I'm talking about bowls. Yeah, right back. I know everybody that's following me like, oh my God, here she go with them bowls again. Oh my God, here, come, here she go with them bummies again. Oh my God, here comes she go with them patches again. <laughs> y'all been following me. Y'all done seen it about 355 times. Next time I'm on my live, I'm going to show y'all. But it's new people on here that never seen it before, so I got to show them too, right? <laughs> so I got, a lot of people are leaving right now. We only got 185 people watching now, so I'm going to go ahead and do, show these bowls, and I'm going to get my butt off the live, okay? All the, I see all these by cutting by hand. I got the pattern from Etsy, and I cut them by hand. I don't use my cricket. But I know I like Dimps and uh uh who are Fabuloses and Miss Parker and who else I know by by hand. Embro embroidery Diva, all y'all be like, oh my god, here she go, showing us this stuff again. We already seen it. But it's people that didn't see it yet, so I hope y'all don't mind. <laughs> uh, this is a different kind of bow I made. I sold did I sold this. I don't know if I sold this or not. This is a different type of bow. This is different. This is different too. But other ones, these other ones, these right here, I got all this. I got this pattern from Etsy. Show your nice trim cup. Show your nice cup you made with your name on I didn't make a cup. Oh, you talking about my bling bling cup? I don't know where that cup is at. Got to be upstairs somewhere in my... Oh, you talking about that? That's what you talking about? He said, show me the nice cup with your name on it. Well, it must be the bling cup, the, the tumbler. Hold on, see, you can cut quilt pieces. Hold on, y'all going too fast. Hold on, love to see you. Oh, thank you, Dems. Oh, girl, you make me smile. I know y'all tired of it. She probably just, it's like, oh my God, here she go again. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We don't mind at all. Sis, stop. <laughs> Well, I appreciate y'all. I just like showing. This is like I can't believe I created all this stuff. This is so cute. I ain't put the backs on these yet. These are something I just did off of Alicia. Alicia, if you go on um, her page, she showed you how to do these bowls. So these other bowls, I just figured out. I found how to do these on YouTube, and I just got a piece. It's the same pattern for all these bowls. I got the pattern from Etsy. Just cut the pieces out, and you go on about your business. I'm gonna show you how the pattern too. I'm gonna show you how that in a minute because you can get it from Etsy. It's a simple pattern. Simple pattern. They all look the same, but you're using different fo um, faux leather for it. Awful leather. Thank you, Miss Black. You made your first bummies today? Yes, Tanya. Yes, them bummies are so fun to make, especially if you got a surgery. Now, I'm not going, I'm not saying to go buy you a surgery, girl. I ain't telling you that, girl. But the bummies are best when you make it with a surgery. <laughs> I'm just saying it. People be like, Charmaine, I'm going broke with you. I understand. I understand. <laughs> Let me see. This quitting is fun, Charmaine. Yeah, I want to do this. I want to do some. I got the rulers and stuff. I want to do some quitting, but I just had a time right now. I really would like to create something like that. That'd be amazing. Like, I can embroider some patches on there. I can do so much stuff. I can put my, my granddaughter's name on it, her birthday. I can embroider all that on a patch. Like, it just you could just do so much with patching and, and, and quilting. It's so much you can do with it. I can get some little babies, embroidery babies. I can get so much stuff you can do with patching. I mean, with quilting. So much you can do. So I do want to. So those are all my bowls. And let me show y'all the um. Let me show y'all the. Let me show y'all the, the template for this real quick. And I'm about to get out of here, y'all. I'm getting tired. I don't know why. Usually, I'm up. I'm up. I ain't going to be no time soon. 
But um, I want to get some stuff done. Even though I just want to get some fun. I'm gonna order. I want to do some fun. Like I said, do them patches. I can't wait to see how them patches turn out. Here's a template for the um. This is how it comes. You basically print it out. Excuse this. I didn't have it. Um, I basically traced it. Traced it so I can make some more. But I really don't need these. But it just it comes out. It's not. It's how it looks. You print it off of Etsy just like this. But this one this cut off a little bit, so I can't. It's this little thing. This is how it looks on Etsy. You print it out just like this, and you cut it out with your scissors, and you use this as a template. This is how it looks on. It's a PDF file on Etsy. But this is one piece right here. This is the um. show you this circle part piece is this middle piece this is the middle piece right here this circle part is the middle piece it's one this one number one and then number two <laughs> excuse me um number what's number three i'll name it number three number three goes on the back which is this piece right here this piece right here is number three this is number two and i'm gonna show you number one in a minute this is number one it's better to show you how i look on the on the bow Number one, because it folds back. This first piece right here fold back. So this is number one. Is it? Yeah. Is it? They don't look like it, but they look crazy. Yeah. It is. Oh, dang. This is the top. Yeah, this is the top piece. It looks like it's not, but it is. I wrote it down. Don't, don't look at my handwriting because it sucks. This is the pattern. This is the front, the top. This is the bottom. This is the middle. So it goes like this. But you got to, of course, you got to fold it to make it work. And then the little piece of paper, the little piece of paper that I didn't cut out is just about this size right here. And it just, it basically ties around it like this. Okay. But you know, you got to fold this one back. You got to fold this one like this. So you go, go like this. Here it is. Yeah, we go like this. And then you glue the back of it. So simple. But I already use my scissors in my Cricut, but it'd be so straight and crispy if you use a Cricut. So it's just three pieces. You need three pieces. The big pieces right here, one, two, three. Then you need this piece right here to go in the middle to tie it together. And you use hot glue. And you find these little clips on Amazon, put it on the back, and you got your bow. It just looks like this. These are my templates. Thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness, you're showing me this stuff. Yeah, get you some chalk and scissors. You good? Yep. What seller on NC did you? I have no idea. I don't remember. I could probably look and see, but I just was searching. What I do is, y'all, I go on Etsy and I look and see this, what I want. Like, some of them bowls are too bulky, too much going on. I want to find the simplest thing that I can make that I can say, okay, look, that bowl will look cute with this different kind of fabric that I have or a different kind of um bowl, the faux leather I have. So I just found the simplest one. This is four pieces, three pieces, that's it. Yeah, sometimes they got come up with a bulky kind. I want the simplest one I can find. Well, not simple, but the one that can be cute that you ain't got to do too much work with because I'm making it. I got a store and I got to make these things. So I want to make sure it's simple enough for me to do a lot of them at once, okay? So simple. I'll be in my bed just cutting cutting, cutting this stuff, put it to the side, and then I can match them up with some more different different stuff to match it and make it look cute. So um, just look on Etsy and look for bowls, templates, and just pick out the one you think is going to be best for you. Bow template on Etsy. It's like 2 or $3. You can make you some money. Make you some money. And I got these clips from Amazon. From a bag like this for the clips. From Amazon. Okay? Easy, easy, easy. And I found out how to do it. They got video. If you go to bow making or faux bow, if you go to faux leather bow making on Amazon, it's one girl on Amazon. I mean, not Amazon, but on YouTube. I learned how to do it for her. Even though it's simple, you're just cutting it out. And, but she tell you how to detach them, detach them together. Do I have a bow? I think I got a bow tutorial. Girl, I got some tutorials. I don't know what I made. Did I make a, did I make a bow tutorial? I had to because it's so easy. So I look at my YouTube channel and see if I got a bow tutorial. I think I do. Girl, I don't know. I made so much stuff. I don't know what I got going on. But I'm pretty sure I do because they're easy like that. Now that I've been, I've been doing bows for a minute. And I, if I don't have a bow, if I don't have a bow tutorial, which I hope I do, if I don't, I got to make one, y'all. So let me know. If I don't have one, I got to make one. That's easy. Um, Go to my TikTok. Please follow me on TikTok. My, a lot of videos on TikTok can show you. How to little snippets of what I do. So fun. So much fun. Go to my TikTok. And please um friend me on TikTok. Follow me on TikTok and see my little videos. Everything I make, all my orders I do, I put it on TikTok. I, I do I upload a video today on TikTok. I'm showing y'all what I did about orders. My TikTok is I gotta get my list because I don't know. I got so much stuff going on. Um follow me on TikTok and it's charming gal. C-H-A-R-M-I-N-G. 
G A L. Charming Gal on TikTok. Charming Gal on TikTok. Yes. And follow me on um, Instagram, Miss Charming Gal. Instagram, Miss M S Charming Gal. Yes. That's why I said I wish my granddaughter was here because I would, oh my God, I would just love, I would just make her everything. But like I said, I'm enjoying still making stuff for people, um, people for my side. I'm just making stuff. And I got a daycare center. So I got these two twins. They're, they're be, they'll be one in June. So I make a lot of stuff for them. I make some little twinky outfits for them. And you can see that on my Instagram too. I made them a little outfit, a little, um, a, what's it called? Um, a cameo outfit. When, I mean, her skirt is a boy and a girl. I made Jort, I made uh, a journey, a skirt. With a cameo shirt, and I made Jordan some shorts with a cameo with some fabric. So it's so cute. So I'm gonna try to make some boys and outfit, some girls for some outfits for them so they can be wearing. So they won now. I can be making a lot of stuff for them. And I make a lot of my stuff for 12 months so she can be able to, I can just give them to her because they got a little set of twins in my daycare. So I can make for them. Thank you, Fabulous. Yep, Charming Gal TikTok, and then Miss Charming Gal for Instagram. Um, My fan mail, if you have anything that you want me to, show off or wear if you want to make me something i can wear i got a hundred thousand subscribers now y'all somebody watching me somebody might i can probably connect somebody to you with your stuff that you might have i do reviews i do um whatever you product reviews i can support your business by shouting you out on my channel so send that to me on um, my fan mail is basically you just go to my my um facebook group facebook page charmaine galloway and i will send you my p.o box I got to put my P.O. box in my email, but I want to know who's bringing me, sending me stuff. So I really don't want to put it out there like that. So I, I better you come to me inbox and I can give you my P.O. box because I don't want to P.O. box out there just for everybody. Even though it's a P.O. box, is safe, but still, I want to make sure I know who's sending me stuff. If that's okay with y'all. I could do reviews. I could do shout outs to get to people out there to your businesses. I have a successful business. I have a successful Etsy shop. I've been running it for a while, got over 300 sales. Well, I've only been running for two about a half, two and a half, about two years, about two and years, two years. So I'm um I just opened another one a couple months ago, two months ago, and it's the, my children boutique. I only got ten sales, but I appreciate the sales I got. I, I'm appreciating it. I'm loving y'all coming to me, supporting me. And I just came. I just love making these little outfits for these babies. Oh, you make clothes for dogs? I have two puppies. I have two dogs. They just turned one. I got two shizus. And I haven't made them nothing. I was thinking about making them some the little shirt, the sublimation shirt, but I buy them everything. I bought them bowls and all kind of, I got a boy and a girl. I bought them all kind of stuff and they're too small. They, they grew out of everything. Just be spending my money, y'all. Just spend my money. But I, haven't bought, I haven't had time to make any dog clothes. But that'd be cute too because that's small. I like making small stuff. So I might think about making something for them. But I've just been trying to get up with this. I've been really trying to focus on my, my, my children boutique and getting stuff out there, samples and stuff on there so people can look. I can have more people. They can choose stuff. I can have some more. I can have more things for them to choose from. Sorry, my tongue is twisted. My mouth is dry. I need something to drink and something to eat. Thank you, Irma. Yeah, I'm trying to find some Hello Kitty um fabric. I can't find any Hello Kitty fabric. Okay, I'm y'all done asking any more questions, y'all. I'm about to get out of here because right now it's 11:45, and y'all be having me on here all night. And by the time midnight come, people be coming out here acting crazy up on here. So we don't want none of that happen. And I'm getting kind of tired. I want to get some stuff done. I'm gonna. I might not do nothing tonight, y'all, because it's too late for me to start something. Like them, I know them. Them um, patches gonna take a long time because they're really. A lot of stitches in them patches. So I'm gonna do that. I don't know what I'm gonna do, y'all. I gotta think about. It. I gotta get out, focus. I have to figure out what I wanna do. 
Oh, I got some stuff from Condi. Condi brought me. Condi sent me some free stuff today, but I do another video on that. They say Condi. If you know about Condi, Condi is a um, sublimation blank company. If you ask for Chloe Smith, she'll give you a discount on the stuff that you buy if you say my name, Chloe Smith from Condi.com, or they call Die Trans. They send me a box full of stuff. Well, it's not that much stuff, but they send me a box full of stuff, and I was going to do a live on that. But I want to do the live, and I want to do something with it because I always showed y'all what they give me, but I'll never show y'all how it looks that it's been sublimated. So I'm gonna do that later. Not today. But I was doing like, wait a minute, what's that box up over there? It's a box from Condi. So excuse my background. Good Lord. Um, my ring light right there, my my laundry room door open. Just going switched on on in the background. I gotta give me some and I gotta figure out a nice setup for my background. But I don't have a nice setup. I don't have no extra walls because everything is covered with 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 gadgets. Uh thank you, Miss Black. Okay, I was, okay, I was looking for Hello Kitty. I gotta find some fabric from but that um Essie, I think I seen on Essie, but it was just way too much for that one yard. They wanted way too much money for a yard of Hello Kitty. And I need a lot of it because I'm doing a um I'm doing somebody wanted me to do a uh a uh a, 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 a bonnet for them. And I couldn't find it. And I think they wanted like fifteen dollars for a doggone yard of Hello Kitty. I'm not paying all that money for no Hello Kitty. So I'm looking for something that's not that much. So if y'all see some Hello Kitty fabric that's under fifteen dollars for a yard, let me know because I want it because I need to do some bonnets with Hello Kitty fabric. But it was way too much on Etsy. Who? I do dimps. I probably do. Yeah, she did for me. Fabulosa, she did that for me. She put that on there, and she tried to show me that Um, um, she tried to, the Hello Kitty stuff, she told me, she, I won't ask her about it, so she was trying to find it for me. But she told me it was at, it was at, it was some at, um, Hello, it was at some at Hobby Lobby, but they didn't have it here at my Hobby Lobby. Then she tried to buy it for me, but then they ran out of her Hobby Lobby, too. So I looked at, I seen that. She showed, she did that for me, because I told her I needed some. But I can't find it. It's not, dude, it's too expensive. I'm not paying $15 for no yard. That's just, that's ridiculous. Okay, thank you. Thank you, SW. Have a good night. Yes, Chloe Smith. That's for Chloe Smith at Condi.com. Because if you sublimate, she'll give you the good, this should get discount prices on your um, sublimation items. I love Condi.com. Condi is C-O-N-D-E dot com. I get all my mugs from them. I get my tumblers from them. They have a I got my slates from them because I do memorial slates also on my um on my children boutique. I do memorial slates. I can put like your picture of your loved one on the slates and it's amazing. It's like a marble, heavy, nice, durable. It's, a, it's amazing. It's like a, it's called a photo slate. Beautiful. So I got that stuff from Condi. So um, check them out. Like I said, if you do sublimation, go to them and ask for Chloe Smith. Say my name, Charmaine Galloway sent you, and they will give you the discount. Sub your own. Sub your own fabric. Okay, okay. Everybody's saying that. Um, I know people be saying that, Dimps. But my thing is, when you're doing a bonnet, bonnets are huge, right? So if I've sub my own, even though I have a big heat press, I have a big um a big sublimation printer. But if I'm subbing a bonnet, it's a circle. So it won't my sit my heat press is 16 by 24. The circle for the bonnet for a large bonnet is way bigger than that. So that means I'm gonna have to be doing it's gonna be creases in my stuff. That's the only thing I hate about that. It's creases in the when you're doing sublimation, when you're sublimating fabric. Now I won't have no no problem sublimating like little girls' outfits because if it all fits on one sheet of paper, which is my paper is big, I'm sorry, the paper is fine, it's my heat press. So if it's bigger than like a like if I say my large binding circle is bigger than my heat press. So that means I'm gonna have to put the submission paper on there a couple of times to cover the whole face of fabric, which is gonna show up on my 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 results. And I don't want all them creases, I don't want them gaps, I don't want them lines in my fabric. Now, yes, I do, I will, and I don't mind sublimating like little outfits that will fit on my 16 by 24 heat press. Because I got the big, I mean, my, my paper is big enough because I have a big machine for printing. So that's no problem. It's the heat press problem. And I don't want all those them lines and stuff. You can tell when you have more than one piece of paper on your sublimation. You know what I'm saying? That's the only reason why I don't do that. When it kind of bonnets. Like, I can sublimate. I can do my small bonnets with that. I can sublimate. I make my own fabric with Hello Kitty with, with small bonnets. But I can't do it with the large bonnets. And I was thinking, you know, that's my next process thing I'm going to be doing is sublimating, like, um, 
different kids stuff, designer stuff. I know people are like, you can't do that. You can't do that. But um, you go on Amazon and you can get like Nike or Louis Vuitton or whatever. I know people got stuff to say you can't, you can't do it. You can't do it. But my next process, my next thing I'm going to do is going to be sublimating my own fabric. Start using like the this um, designer stuff and putting on little kids shirts and stuff and sublimating them different stuff like hats. I seen somebody that had made a Nike hat. That was cute. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to put that on my site. Especially not Etsy because they're going to shut me down. But um, it's cute to have little kid stuff with Nike stuff. And you don't want to pay all this money for this. I mean, I know it's against the rules. I know I shouldn't talk like this, but this stuff is just, let me just shut up. <laughs> I'm going to be doing some stuff with family members. And I'm, that's how I'm going to do it. But people, it's, it's expensive buying all this stuff, even though it's the name brand and it's, it's their stuff. But it's, 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 not, it's hard for parents to afford this cute stuff for their kids because it's so expensive. So, I got to see so many different things like um, Louis Vuitton hats and stuff for babies. Now, I can do stuff like that because it's small. Like I said, I won't sub on that stuff because it's small. But them bonnets is huge. And it's going to show the creases of it. Yes, don't say it. I'm going to shut up. Talk too much. <laughs> so, yeah, it's fun. Sublimation is so much fun, Shonda. Thank you. Welcome, Shonda. Like, um, uh, sublimation, you could do so much. Like, if you want to make a kid's shirt, you can put your kid's face all on a shirt. You know what I'm saying? You can do, like, what I did, like, Mickey Mouse, you can put, like, you can just get some, just, you can make Mickey Mouse, you can, I can basically print this. This is a, this is a patch. I didn't cut it out yet. I did this this last night. It's my first time doing Mickey Mouse because I want to do some more, more patches for my um kids' um store. And I can put these on their little shoes, on their little shoe tongues or whatever. So you could just take Mickey Mouse and you could just um copy them. Thousand and one times to put it on a shirt for a kid. Like Mickey Mouse heads all over the place. If you can't find a fabric, you can make your own fabric. That's what she was telling me. Make your own fabric. But um, I mean, I made the light Mickeys. I made the dark Mickeys. So you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want with sublimation. You can do whatever you want with em embroidery. So I got two choices. And people can come and get the light or the brown. You know what I'm saying? And they put on their kids' clothes and stuff. And that's what I want to do, too, with sublimation. You can do the same thing with sublimation. You can make your own stuff. Make it unique. Have your own your your name brand on your stuff on your sublimation stuff. Hey Andrina, I did the socks scare. You missed the live. I did the socks today on live. I did a whole video, y'all. I had did a whole video on them socks. I was uploaded yesterday, and my phone was like, "You have too much. Your your storage is too full. You cannot upload this video." So my crazy butt deleted the video on accident. So I say, like, "Okay, let me just come on live and just do it on live." So for y'all that missed the socks, let me show y'all what we did today. We did these socks. Only oh, did one. Sorry, cause I was uh, I just wanted to do one, cause it took a little time. We did one. I gotta do. I'm glad I gotta do the other sock, y'all. I'm gonna do the other one, but I'm gonna show you the ones we already already did. So y'all know we just two of them together. We already. I did these. This is that. This is what I did with the video, and I deleted on accident. So y'all see me. I did only, but I only did one sock on the video too. And I came back and I did, and I showed y'all the results of the second one. It's because it can be kind of time consuming using all these yards of fabric. I mean, all this yards of stuff. I mean, and I did these. So these are what we did today. We did our little tube tube socks, the detachable socks. And of course, you got to have the gold and purple. Like I said, I was telling everybody, you can do this. You can use these for hair scrunchies. You can make it look less um, ribbing. Put it on your head. You can put it on your wrist. You put it on your ankle. You can also put it on the headband. Look, if you scrunch it just like this, like in the middle, like this, girl, that'd be a cute little headband. If you get this, if you use this little um, what do I have to do with that little band? Like you can just pin it. I mean, you can scrunch it right here. Put it like a ribbon around here or something. You can put a bow right here too. Girl, that'd be cute. Put a bow, make a bow, put it right here. Um, and then use this little um, this fabric I got from um, girl. And I'm gonna show you, Andrina, with the reason why I bought that tool from. I bought that tool for this reason only. And then I seen her, I seen Andrea's socks. I said, I could do that. I could use that tool for those socks. So let me show you what the boy I was talking about before I was trying to tell y'all. Girl, I'm always doing something in these videos. I showed y'all earlier. But it'd be cute if you pinch it like this, put a ball around here, or you can put a piece of ribbon around here. And then you can use this kind of, um, this fabric. I can find it. Hold on. Oh, here it is. And you can use this piece right here, this fabric, like this headband fabric, and glue it or whatever you want to do, or sew it on the back of here, put it on the back of here like this. And it could be a headband, y'all. Just like this. That is cute too, y'all. 
Ain't that cute? This fabric, you just the right color with it. You can use whatever color you want. They got a lot of these at Hobby Lobby. Okay. That'd be a little cute boat, little head that I put on the baby. It's bulky, but it's pretty because it's so elegant. This 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 um this satin is so pretty. You can use it as a headband too. Hey. But this um Andrea Andrina. I bought the Tulu for this. I'm gonna make some of these headbands, and this is Tulu, right? When I found the Tulu at when I, I went there, I found I bought these for this to make these little Tulu headbands, right? And girl, when I seen Andrea video, I was like, oh, I can use that Tulu for the, the um socks. Instead of in this too though, but I bought it mainly for these. Okay, ain't these cute, y'all? I got this from Hobby Lobby, girl. This all it is is a little small piece of ribbon right here, and it's some tulu. She cut it in a circle and just put it in this tight on here. That's it. Glue it on that mug, and you got you a headband. Ain't that cute? Hey, embroidery diva. That is too cute, y'all. So that's the reason I bought these. I got all colors, y'all, just for that. They all just got these at Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna make all kind of headbands, y'all. Got every color. Okay, I'll be buying, I'll be shopping, shopping. I got all the colors they want. But now I just like I said, when I seen Andrea Andrina Andrina video, Andrea video on um about these socks, because I'm gonna use these for my socks, y'all. And I ain't gotta worry about using this size. I use this size. This is three inches, this is six inches. You just cut it, and I mean you just fold it in half, and you ain't gotta worry about cutting it off. You just got this, and that's all you need for those these socks. The exact size you need. Okay. Yes, it's it's the it's the best. It's the best compared to this. Now, when you get this size, you got to cut. With this, you ain't got to do nothing but fold it and go with it. Go with it. Like I said, if y'all missed these, this if you missed how I did these, it's on this live. So y'all can this live will stay up and then show you how I did this one. And this color is so cute. I need to make me a tutu this color. Okay, let's see. Don't be hard on yourself. You will get it. Um, so much pollution. Let's see. I'm going to have to get some more headband. Yes, this headband fabric. This is a Hobby Lobby, too. Hobby Lobby, got, I got a whole lot of it. I bought it just for to make these bowls. Um, I bought this little the thin um ribbon, too, to make these bowls. I made all, I bought all this for this ribbon, for this bowl. This is so cute. They got these the same size. You ain't got to worry about getting the thick kind. You can get them just like this, this size at Hobby Lobby. Make you some cute headbands. But this too, it's Tulu and it's fabric. And it's all you gotta do. It's so easy. That's why I, I bought this from Hobby Lobby so I can bring it home so I can learn. I mean, so, so I can do it. But it's simple. You just use that little small Tulu and you got you a bow. Cute, cute. You're welcome, Mary. So I showed y'all the patches I made. We talked about a lot of things today in this video. I'm going to do a recap. I'm about to get out of here. I'm tired. I got to do some embroidery stuff. So we recap. We did these socks today. I told y'all about, um, I showed y'all my patches that I made on my embroidery machine so y'all can be able to see what size of y'all. If y'all looking for a machine, y'all can know what size 4 by 4 is compared to a 5 by 7 We did, um, I showed you about these bowls. Um, I showed y'all my bowls that I made too. I showed y'all how to use the, um, I showed y'all the pattern of what I use for the bowls I make. Um, and I got it from Etsy. So, um, that's it for today. Uh, showed y'all my little hats I made, my little pants I made. So, I always get, always get a lot covered in my videos on live. Like I said, so I'm going to go make this sock. So I'm going to go make another one of these so I can be able to put this on my site so I can show them off. We'll hopefully get some sales. <laughs> so these socks are so darn cute. Can't get enough of them. Like You can make them glitter. You can do whatever you want with them. Headbands, scrunchies. Ooh, we can do a little pom-pom ball with all... <laughs> so much you can do. God, I got a big old mess over here on this table. I got a big mess. I got to clean up. Any other questions y'all got going on for me because I'm getting tired? I don't know. I have been looking everywhere for months now trying to find it. Oh, Epson. It's hard to find them. Epson printers. Yeah, man, I already know. Okay, cool. Thank you, Embroidery Diva. The ribbon is on sale this week. So go get y'all ribbon and stuff from Hobby Lobby this week. The ribbon is on sale. This is a good time to get it. I gotta get some. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do another two two two. So I'm gonna go get some. Um, I'm gonna get some more ribbons. I mean, some more ribbons and stuff like that. And then if that's on sale, that means this headband. I mean, this is called. I don't know if they call this fabric or rib. I think they call this. This is the fabric. So this is not on sale this um week. This is not gonna be on sale. Ribbon and fabric don't go on sale the same week. 
They got a separate week. So this is not on sale. And the Tulu not on sale. But the ribbon is on sale. Wait, do they think, do they call it the Tulu ribbon at Hobby Lobby? It's where the ribbon is at. But I don't know if they say this is a fabric or if this is ribbon, the Tulu. I can't remember if they, what they do with it. If they put that on sale with the fabric or do they put that on sale with the, with the, um, with the ribbon? I can't remember. Yeah, if y'all know, let us know so y'all can know if y'all want to get some more Tulu and stuff. Some more tool. Sorry. I've been saying Tulu forever. Girl, yes. I, then once she said she just dropped all that, 165 right time I go to Joanne's, I spent over $100. It's horrible because every time I go there, they got new fabric. And it's right around the corner from my house. I can walk to Joanne Fabric. They say, what's up? They be like, hey, Charmaine. I'm like, that's a shame. That's a shame. They might even give me a part-time job <laughs> just because I want to be around fabric. No. <laughs> uh, oh, you got, I didn't know you sublimated, Andrea, Andrina. I know you get the eco tank. Is that eco tank? Is that a sublimation printer you got, or is that just a regular printer? Sales sometime as your oh sale same time. Okay, cool. Okay, um, my eyes is getting tired. I can't read. I got a lot of follow today to me. Yes, and dimps, and you got an embroidery machine because it's so much fun making those clutch purchases with that faux leather on your embroidery machine. Oh my god, it's so much fun. I gotta get back to that too because I started doing. I did start doing fanny packs and stuff on my embroidery machine, and I need to. I got so much stuff that I want to do that I can't get back to the stuff that I used. To, I started off with like you can do a lot of key fobs and stuff with that that this stuff on your embroidery machines. A lot of key fobs and stuff like as far as for um, embroidery, beautiful. But I got some other stuff that I'm trying to do. That I can't go back to the stuff that I'm that I like doing. Well, I like doing all of it, but you, you know what I'm saying. I I don't sublimate, but you can use it for something. Okay, you just use it as a regular printer. Okay, yeah. You can see them convert it. I use I've been sublimating today and I got a headache from the fumes. From sublimation? What you so you about oh you talking about you must have been doing some mugs or something? Um, embroidery diva. Must have been some mugs used from the fumes. Cause I'm like sublimation from the heat press, you should be okay with that, but it must have been some mugs. What was you doing today, uh, embroidery diva? Really, Ginger, don't be like me. You all go broke because I'm going broke now. <laughs> She's talking about she can buy everything. I, that's how I am. I look at something. I'm like, oh my god, I need to get that. But I love it. Um, it's not like I, I um, I don't regret buying none of the stuff I bought. For everything I got, I do not regret it because it's basically it's gonna make my. I made my money back from it, and I'm and I could do so much stuff with this stuff. Like I don't regret it. But I bought a lot of stuff this year. I bought. A, I spent a lot of money this year from the sixty dollar machine. From this mega sublimation machine, this, this sublimation machine right here, this baby right here, this huge sublimation, this twenty <laughs> wide sublimation printer, and that dang on six six needle machine right there. Yeah, I spent a lot of money. <laughs> and I got like, the cameo, the cricket maker, and the um ear, the cricket ear too. Sixteen by twenty four heat press. Yeah, I had to go up on my, my home insurance <laughs> real quick. Because, Lord, if anything happened up in here, I will get paid. <laughs> not, not, not gonna will. Nothing happened up in here. But I had to go up. Make sure y'all go up on your insurance policies, your home insurance, your rental insurance, whatever. Because you need that. And I'm in the basement too. You need insurance, y'all. It's just a business insurance. Get some insurance. You never know what's gonna happen. I live in a condo. So anything can happen. So if, if you ain't got no insurance on in your, in your house, your rental insurance, your home insurance, get you some insurance today. No matter if you got a business or not, you got stuff in there that need to be insured, get you some insurance. Life insurance too. Don't play. Get some life insurance and some home insurance today. So you can be safe. Your, kid, your family can be safe. I know I'm off subject, but I'm just thinking like service announcements, get some life insurance and get some home insurance today. Yes, Amazon too. Be careful, y'all. Be careful because that's another thing. I just got hacked. I just got hacked. And they took out $1,400 out of my account. $1,400 out of my account. Somebody, I live in a condo, right? So somebody got my either in my computer or my Wi-Fi. 
So let me shut up because my my hacker probably is watching me right now. But they they got my credit my that, that light in my head my face and put my big head up here because block the light. <laughs> they hacked me and I was in tears. Fourteen hundred dollars? Like, are you kidding me? And that's not the only thing they did. They got Grubhub on my account, delivering stuff to my house, picking up stuff from my house. That's scary. I went to the police yesterday. That's why I've been on Mother's Day. I was sick. I was just like in the house. I didn't want to be bothered. I was just sick. Like somebody done got my account, was able to get Grubhub sent to my house, and I didn't order no Grubhub. But then I, they they left a bag. They left, they left the empty bag in front of my door, saying, "Yeah, I've been here. Yes, yo, they been in, somebody was in front of my house yesterday, and I don't know who it was. Like this is some scary stuff." And I went to the cops today, or when I go yesterday, I went to the cops yesterday to tell them. They're like, "Oh." I did a report and it was like, oh, we can't do anything about it. It's just hard to find these hackers. Are you kidding me? I couldn't sleep last night thinking somebody could be in my house. I was like, this is crazy. And I'm on YouTube. I got all this stuff, you know, a thousand subscribers. You don't never know what's going on. But I know it's somebody in my computer. Somebody hacked my computer because they had my PayPal, my Amazon, PayPal, Amazon, PayPal, Amazon, and my Grubhub. They got on all of my accounts. How do you do that? Tell me how you do that. So I got I live over here in these condos, a lot of college kids over here. And there's gotta be somebody that hacked into my internet, my Wi-Fi, or my computer. How you get into my Amazon? Like me and my daughter on the phone talking. And she said, she said, Mom, go see your Amazon. Cause she she on my Amazon account too. But well, she was, but she could be disconnected. We on Amazon. Somebody is in my cart, right? Was right in my cart, adding stuff in my cart. How you doing that? And I'm not doing it. She's like, Mom, are you on Amazon right now? I was like, no. They was adding stuff in my cart as we was talking on the phone. Like how in the world do you do that? And I just got me up. I went to, I've been to the bank three times this month getting new cards because they've been hacking my cards. Like, how do you get Grubhub sent to my house? Grubhub, I'm going to be off after I tell you this real quick. Grubhub emailed me because I, I canceled Grubhub a couple weeks ago. Yeah, Embroidery Diva. Somebody, on, somebody um, basically bought two PlayStations on my account, two PlayStation 5s. On my account, fourteen hundred dollars. Thank God, my bank gave me my money back. But when that seen that on my account, I was in tears. Like, are you? And it's the first of the month. I got bills to pay. Are you kidding me? Two PlayStation, and they deliver it to my house. And they was trying to pick up the PlayStations from my house, but they couldn't because I had to sign for them. So they couldn't pick it up because I had to sign for them. But if they, if they would have left the PlayStation down on my on my on my front door, they would have took them. And they made that clear because. When they ordered my, they ordered Grubhub. Grubhub, they they texted me and was like, "Your order is on your on its way." I'm like, "This is a mistake." I ain't ordered no, I ain't ordered nothing on Grubhub. So then I, then I, then another text came through. She was, they was like, "Can we cancel your order because we cannot get to you because it's an accident on your street?" I'm like, this is crazy. So then, and then I, then another one said, "Oh, your 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 um your Grubhub has been your Grubhub has been delivered." Boy, when I tell you, I'm like, they lying. So I went into my email account. And my receipt said I had a Grubhub for seventeen dollars, two cokes, two Pepsi's, and a something else like four liters of pop that was supposed to be sent to my house from Seven Eleven. Why I go outside my front door and find an empty Seven Eleven bag with the receipt stapled to the bag? Do you know how freaking? You know how it scared the stuff out of me. Like somebody was at my front door and took the stuff out the bag and just did the bag there saying, yeah, I was here at your house. Yeah, I ordered this. Man, I went to the police so fast. Police like, we can't do anything about that. But I gave them the receipts about the $1,400 from them dang on PlayStations. I got a receipt from the from the grill pub, the bag that came in it. I get this about they can't do nothing about it. I was scared to go to sleep last night. I thought I was in my house. I had my door locked. I had my hammer in my <laughs> I need to give me a gun license. That's what I need to do. I'm scared of guns. I got kids. I'm so scared. But that's some scary stuff. Like, an empty bag. And they've charged my card. So it's got to be somebody around here. They might hear me now. They probably listen to me right now. Like, somebody in my con in my condo hacking me. And they, 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 they live close because they pick up the stuff off my porch as soon as Grubhub put it down there. I'm so glad I didn't. If I would have saw that, I would have freaked out. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just venting to y'all. I'm sorry. That just happened. But I've been sick for the last, for like the last month it's been going on. I've been to the bank three times. And the bad thing about it, y'all, the bad thing about it, the credit card that they used on Grubhub last night, I just got it yesterday. I got it yesterday. So how in the heck they, they get it that quick? That credit card I got, I went to the bank yesterday to get a new card. No, they were yesterday. And they got the Grubhub from that credit card I just got from the bank yesterday. 
How they do that? I didn't do anything with that credit card. I didn't even use a credit card. I used a credit card once. So I went to Joanne Fabric to get some fabric. And that was it. And the next thing, the next transaction was Grubhub. How they do that? How they do that? Yeah, get you a gun. Right. I'm scared of guns. But I've been wanting to go to the go to the gun range to I mean, get the lights and all stuff. I've been wanting to do that because there's a lot of stuff going on. But I just, I'm just, I ain't, yeah, I need to do, I need to get my, I need to do something. But somebody was in front of my house last night. So, a thousand people watching right now, y'all know something happened. Y'all know what happened. Like, this is crazy. Like, I was scared to sleep last night. I had my door locked. I had my hammer. I only got a hammer. I had a hammer on my desk. I was like, Lord, please don't let nobody come. I was just scared. And the police said, they can't do that because it's, my, it's hard for us to get hackers because we can't find out who they are. I didn't get y'all emails. They emailed me. They they, they had my, they had, they, it was phone numbers. They can't do nothing with none of that stuff. I don't want to call them. I want y'all to call them. Y'all the police. I want y'all to do something about it. The, the, like I said, the money was given back to me, but it's the fact that they was on my freaking porch. And they ordered like about eight o'clock last night. I go outside to an empty bag from 7-Eleven. And my bill says that they had bought some, some pop. From 7 Eleven, and they was there because the bag the bag is empty. Like, who does that? I was freaking out. I was I've been sick for last. Like I said, Mother's Day, I was stressed out. I was just, I was just just I ain't do nothing for Mother's Day. I ain't eat on Mother's Day. Okay, so that's how bad it was for me. Like, are you kidding me? I was in the bed. I didn't even get to bed till like four o'clock. Like, just stressed out. Like somebody is really hacking me like this. Like, who is doing this? So let me stop talking because I might somebody might be listening. But I'm just trying to tell y'all, be careful. They was in my Amazon. They made a fake. They made a fake. Um, they, I found that they made a fake. What's them, that site called? eBay account to to um to get them PlayStation to my house. They had two PlayStation come to my house, and the, the second one came out like send it back. I was about to sign for it. I'm like, no, send it back. I don't want it. I don't want it. It's a prank. It's a crime. I don't know what. It, I said send it back. Wherever it came from, I don't want it. It's not mine. So I made the UPS guy send it. I took take it back. I don't want it. So the other one I kept. I'm gonna have to keep because it was already my son had opened it. Thought it was from him. He thought it was. It was a mess. So, but yeah, two playstations. But I got my money back, so that's all that matter. But this is just freaky. It's 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 some crazy. It's people crazy. People crazy. So I want to let y'all know about that. Keep keep an eye on y'all Amazon accounts. And the, the, the crazy thing about it, when I go on Amazon, I had to put a code in there. I had to put a code in my Amazon account when I go on Amazon. So they're hacking me and my PayPal account. I had to put a code in there. So how in the world did they pay for two PlayStation games from my PayPal account and made an account on eBay, but Paid through my PayPal account to go to my bank account, and then they got they on Amazon just putting stuff in my cart on Amazon card. How they doing that? without I put my code, I put the code in there. Why can't they have to do that? Why they didn't do that? It's crazy. Yeah, just be safe. That's the reason why I'm telling y'all this. Be safe. Be safe with your accounts. Like I said, even though I got codes on all my accounts, they still getting in there. I I got a Mac computer, right? So I called Mac. So I'm going to Mac on Sunday so they can clear out my computer. I, I got AT&T Wi-Fi, so I got to call them to see what they can do. But my Wi-Fi is locked. They say, as long as my Wi-Fi is locked, I shouldn't be getting no hackers. They're getting there some kind of way. They're getting in my stuff some kind of way. So, yeah. But I'm just telling y'all, know, be protect yourself. Like I said, I got codes on everything. I got codes on everything. How they getting through? How they getting through? It's too close to be on my porch. Too close. Too close. That's the scary part right there. The money part, I was like, okay, I get that money back. But y'all on my front porch delivering Grubhub to my house, and y'all Grubhub telling me they on their way. I didn't order no Grubhub on a credit card I just got. So y'all be careful and pray, pray for me. <laughs> pray for my sanity because I was sick. And like I said, I got a lot of followers on YouTube. I don't think it's YouTube. I don't think it's nothing. This, I think it's just like, like I said, I do everything, my computer, my laptop, my tablets, everything is synced together. So I got, I'm going to go to Mac and ask them what I need to do to, to, to keep myself secure. It's, it's crazy out here. It, it's crazy. Out. People are stealing these checks and stuff from these, the government. There's so much stuff going on. People pray for me because I was sick. That's and I couldn't sleep. <laughs> so with that being said... Like I said, I don't know nothing about Wi-Fi. I don't know none of that stuff. I don't understand none of that stuff. But I just know they said if it's locked, they shouldn't be getting in. But they getting in. They got into more than one of my accounts: PayPal, Amazon, and Grubhub. Yeah, PayPal, Amazon, and Grubhub. They've been through all of my accounts, three all three accounts. So it's gotta be the internet, or it's gotta be a computer thing. It's gotta be, it's gotta be. 
anybody can help me. No, I have I have Magna. It's what's this called? It's Magna Mega. Oh, let me see if I click on it without y'all hanging up. Hope y'all y'all hang up. If I t it's Mega. Oh, let me see. Hope I don't hang up. Okay, it's called Malware. Malware bites. That's what they told me to use when I went to my call Mac today. They said use the mail malware bites, and they told me to clean everything out. I cleaned everything out today. It wasn't no it was no issues with my computer. No issues at all. My malware. But I'm still going to Mac on Sunday and have them do what they got to do and see what they can do. See if somebody in my stuff. See if somebody in my computer. I don't know. Yeah, I use malware. I changed all my pa I did change all my passwords. I did that too. Somebody told me, yeah, I got to get a camera. I, told, I said, I got to do that too. I got to go get me a camera for my house. It's just, it's just doing too much. It's just doing too much. Yeah, I changed my passwords. And, um, I think I need to change them again because it's so hard on them damn. I mean, excuse me. It's, all, it's so hard for them all them passwords. You can't remember all them. So I got to figure out something. I think I got to change them again though because I think I changed them and then they, like I said, I, I deleted Grubhub off my, off my phone. So if Grub had, I was not on my phone, but then I figured out they was, it was still on my computer. That's how they be able, was able to order from my computer yesterday from Grubhub. It's got to be some little kids or somebody because they're ordering pop. Seventeen dollars worth of drinks on my card, on my credit card. You wrap up. But I got like I said, after a lot of college students around here. They all going to school. You know, we, I got a condo. The condo got three bedrooms, a full basement with four bathrooms. So it's a lot of condo people. I mean, a lot of kids living in the same house because it's, it's convenient for them to have all the space. With, you know, they live. In, they going to college here. And they this is the condo that you know, a lot of people, a lot of college boys live over here. A lot of college kids live over here. So they computer literate and they know what they're doing. So somebody in my stuff. I gotta do something. I just wanted to let y'all know. Oh, change my Wi-Fi password. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I gotta do that. I didn't think about that. Change the Wi-Fi password. Even though it's locked, it's something. Somebody in my Wi-Fi or somebody in my computer. So y'all gotta change my Wi-Fi password. I gotta call AT&T tomorrow. That's what I'm thinking. Yep, they test you by ordering small stuff. But they was ordered because be, last month they was they was frauding me. They was because me and my son we was being lazy. So let's let's order some Grubhub. I have not used Grubhub ever. I never. I say I ain't about to order no food because I'm thinking they. I don't want like anybody carrying my food in their car. But I was like, let's go ahead and do it. It's, I think let's just try it. It was last month, right? A couple months ago. So me and him start. We ordered like twice. And then I and I stopped it ordering it. Then I had somebody they start they start scamming me. And they ordered twenty two dollars worth of here, twenty two dollars worth of here. So then I stopped it. That's when I canceled Grubhub on my phone. And that was like two months ago. I just canceled it on my phone. Thought it was all done. I forgot. Now, then yesterday, they can't, they, they ordered on my my computer $17 for some pop. But the, the the orders that was coming in two months ago, they wasn't delivering to my house. I don't know where they were going. It was just saying I was getting charged for it. But it was saying it was saying out of state somewhere. So I'm like, somebody out of state is, is charging my car from somewhere out of state from Grubhub. But I heard that was where Grubhub was located. So I'm thinking Grubhub started everything. Grubhub, somebody from Grubhub or some started everything from all that stuff that happened. So I closed there. I said, close it down. I don't want it. But now it's still on my computer. And they ordered Grubhub from my computer yesterday and from a store. But before it was coming from restaurants. And I, but I wasn't never getting it. It wasn't coming to my house. It wasn't coming to my house. It was going somewhere else. But I was, they was charging me for it. So I think I was like, Grubhub is a scam. Somebody got into the Grubhub account and got my information. But now they, they delivered to my house? I'm like, no. No. So I've been done scam. I've been got my money back from that from Grubhub back then. And they did it again. They starting over again. Like y'all starting over again. But this time it's coming to my house. Like, uh uh. So like I said, be careful out there. There's a lot of schemers, a lot of scammers. And um pray for me. No, I'm scared. I'm still scared. <laughs> Once they please come out, they can't do nothing because it's too much stuff. I didn't get y'all emails. I didn't get y'all phone numbers. Something y'all can do. Y'all just don't want to do nothing. Y'all just don't want to do nothing. So I went to the father report to save my, to cover my butt. But make sure my door is locked and I'm going to give me a camera this weekend. Right. They don't care. That's why. They don't care. Please don't care. They don't care. I said, I gave them the receipts. I gave them, the, I gave them everything I had. To show them about these PlayStations, I told I showed them everything. The bag that was outside, I, I brought the bag in. I told them the receipt. I told them everything. They said we can't do nothing. 
So I just filed a report. Dude, we just keep it on file. Just keep a just keep a look lookout. If we say keep a lookout on things. That's what you for. You the police, you supposed to do that. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. Money. I got that on my I do. That's what I'm saying. Um, Fabulosis. Um, there was I'm not gonna name my banks or whatever, but I do I have two banks and the bank that um the bank that I got fraud off this time, they just guarantee your money. They don't do the fraud alerts, but they just guarantee your money back. If somebody defraud you, they get your money back. But my other bank account, girl, something happened. If I could, if I try to get, like, I tried to buy three hundred dollars worth of um, we going to Florida. Come on, I went to my date to whatever. But we going to Florida soon. Me, and my, my my son's birthday, and I couldn't even get folk f tickets from Disney World on my card because it's like that's just too much money. It was only three hundred dollars. They stopped me from buying that. They stopped my card. It's like they, they closed my account. It's like it's too much money to buy. So they wouldn't even let me do that. But this other, this other bank, they let them take $1,400 out of my account without notifying me. Like, why wouldn't y'all notify me? That's a lot of money. Why would y'all notify me? Why would you? But they don't care because they're going to get the money back to you. So they, they guarantee your money back. So they don't care about telling you that somebody come to your account. They don't care. But that's messed up on me because what if you didn't have give my money back just enough time for me to pay my bills? You know what I'm saying? It's messing my, my, my stuff up. Even though they reverse all the fees or whatever, but still, that was the first of the month. My bills is due. What if I had needed some money to pay my bills? So, yeah, that's the problem. And that's a, it's a national bank, too, that I'm going to. But if my credit union, my credit union, they do have a fraud alert. They will stop it in a minute. It's like, oh, you paying $300? No, we got to stop that. We make sure that's our main before we, before we let that ride. So it's crazy. These banks are crazy. It's crazy. And it's a, like I said, I'm going to some, some na national bank. I mean, so it's a well-known bank that I go to. And they just like, well, they guarantee fraud, so they don't care. But you should care because I might need that money, like ASP, ASAP. But they gave they told me it's going to take six days for me to go back to my car. They did good. They only took three days. But still, that was the first of the month. Like, psh, I need my money today. Like, you shouldn't let you shouldn't let it go. You shouldn't let it go. You should have should have stopped it. You should have emailed me or texted me and said something before y'all let that go. That's what I, somebody told me that too, Miss Carmen. This somebody said that somebody can find I can find out who's logged on to my. My Wi-Fi, and I looked at my computer, and there was nobody logged onto my Wi-Fi. But it was a lot of it was a lot of Wi-Fi that was in my computer that I used. Like it was a lot like when I'm going at the mall, they, had, they still had the mall Wi-Fi in there. They had a lot of different Wi-Fi's in there, so I went in there and deleted all that stuff. But I didn't see nobody else on my Wi-Fi. I just seen like all the Wi-Fi's that I have used in the past, and I just deleted all of that yesterday. But I didn't see anybody else connect. Somebody else told me I could look and see who's connected to my Wi-Fi. Oh, the lady from oh, the lady from my bank told me that. She's like, go check it because she said somebody was using her her card. Or whatever, and she found out who it was. She knew it was her neighbor, so she went on and told him to get out her Wi Fi. But I couldn't find nobody on my Wi Fi, I couldn't find nobody, and mine's is locked, but I still couldn't find nobody. But you know, the lady from my bank told me to go and check that, and that's what I did yesterday. And I deleted all the Wi Fi's that I've used in the past, like from the malls and wherever I was at. I used, I deleted all that, but I didn't see nobody in my Wi Fi, I didn't see nobody. Yeah, it's the principle, it's the principle, deep Miss Diva, it's the principle. You said cancel Amazon. And the reason why I didn't cancel Amazon, because I do a lot of shopping for Amazon. So that'd be that's I mean, I do a lot for Amazon and my PayPal. But what I did was I just canceled my cards. I took my cards off of right now. And then when I want to go back and use it, I'm gonna, I and I gotta use the um I'm gonna use a secure card, even though they I used a secure card, and that's what the uh, what um Grubhub got to my secure. My bank said use the secure card, just put the money on there that you want to use, and you'll be good. I used a secure card and Grubhub still got into it. But it's, it's cool because, I mean, it's not cool, but it's only a little bit of money on there because I put it on what I want to put on there. But it's still, they still take money on my account. It's not, it's not their money. Why are they able to take it on my account? I just got this card yesterday. How did they do that so quick? I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah, all my cards was closed and I had to get new cards again. So, yeah, I got to, yeah. So, that's enough of talking about this fraud stuff. Just be safe out there and just, just be safe and pray for me. Like I said, I was sick. I was in tears. Like fourteen hundred dollars? Are you kidding me? It's something I don't even know. And you trying to? And, and the thing is, they sent it into my house. They sent the PlayStation to my house, so they know my address. They know, and they trying. They were trying to get it and get it, get it. And they did that thing on Grubhub, but they I had to sign for it, so they couldn't get it because I, I was there when they brought brought it to me. I was there. I was here. So, yeah. 
It's a mess out here in these streets. The police don't do nothing. Please don't don't care. No, that's the first thing I thought too. I thought it was my son that did it, but it wasn't him. It was I blamed my son, put him on punishment and everything. I thought he ordered the PlayStation. But then my daughter and me did we our research, whatever, we found out it wasn't him. Because he was the first one I thought was him. I was like, why would you do that? Like, why would I do that? Why would I buy all this stuff? But I blamed on him. I blamed him first. I blamed my son, my 10-year-old son. But it wasn't him. It wasn't him. I thought I knew it was him. That's why I was crying. Like this boy stole all this money from me. But it wasn't him. It was it was somebody in my somebody in my accounts. Yep, I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get the ring. I got the ring in my daycare. I got the ring. Um, I got the ring. I got the cameras, and everything in my daycare, so I know what to want to get. But it's just sad that you gotta, you know, you gotta get this from your house. You gotta get all. These, I gotta go and get all these cameras and stuff. It's just crazy. But I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get the ring so I can be able to see who walk up to my door and stuff. I'm gonna get that like this weekend. Yeah, it's fraud, Pete. Cause like I said, people are trying to get money. They trying to, they trying, they, they sending them checks. They making everybody trying to get these PP loans, and they ain't got no businesses. It's a whole lot of stuff going on. People doing a lot, doing doing a lot, doing a lot. All right, y'all, I gotta go. I gotta go. It is now twelve twenty six, and I haven't got any work done. So it was nice talking to y'all, and I'm thank you for all the suggestions. I'm gonna be looking forward to doing different things. I'm trying to figure out different Wi-Fi stuff. I can do my Wi-Fi, change my passwords. But I did that so I get some more suggestions. I don't know nothing about this Wi-Fi and internet and all this just, just, just spyware or this fraud stuff. I don't know nothing about this. So I brought this to y'all attention just so y'all can know to be careful, be safe about your account, your Amazon, your PayPal, Grubhub's apps. All this stuff is is crazy. People out here trying to get your stuff. They took from me over fourteen hundred dollars. Over fourteen hundred dollars because they took some stuff off, off of Amazon too that I didn't add. Then they, they had some something from Walmart on my car. It was like so much stuff going on. So it was, I was in, I was in, I was a mess. I was a mess. So um, be careful and I'm gonna get some rest or do something. I'm tired. My eyes tired. I'm hungry. Uh, get, make sure I'm, my door is locked. So I'll see y'all next time. Bye. I don't know how to get out of here.